<laughs> hey everyone. I forgot about <laughs> Well, hello there. Um, so welcome to Tavern Heroes. Woo! Um, as you may session two. As you may campaign two. Ooh, two twos. As you may notice, uh, things look a little bit different. Uh, we're missing Spencer. Spencer uh, got sick right before the episode, and that's the only thing that's different. Nothing else. No, that's it. Nothing else. Kyle said two twos, and my mind went like. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the cool thing is, I can go through and I can make a scene that's just Abby full screen. Good, good. I could that if I wanted to. I love Abby would you. hate that. So much. Everyone but Abby would love that. <laughs> yeah, I hate that so much. <laughs> okay. Don't do that to her. Um, no, but um, Abby is now joining us remotely. I already have to like look at my face like big. So. Oh wait, I can make myself smaller. This is worse. Thanks for the bits, Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Audrey. Okay, where did Jor Jordan? Jordan, where the? I'm doing a sound check. I can pull it up though. Okay, testing one, two, three. Jordan's doing a sound check. Let's talk and make sure he can hear us. Put into this. Uh, da -da. I could have tested too. You guys know that, right? Every single session, I could test the. Yeah, you know. that's an amazing hey, point. Tonight, you literally are getting the raw audio feed that we're pushing to Twitch. Nice. Holy fucking shit, we sound good. Let's get started. Jordan, the raw. Let's do I this. already got the audio check. Abby's getting the same audio Twitch oh. is. Fair enough. It's Hi. fine. All right. Okay. Do we need to do a summary? It's Last fine. time on Tavern. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How the turn tape. Wait. Uh, last. Know. I'll just. Last uh, time on Tavern Heroes, we beat the uh, beat the man up. Uh, Multiple times. The ruins. Stole a necklace. Beat him up again. Beat the man up again. <laughs> and then got on a boat. Some pretty. That's you. Up pretty you you, well, you forgot to mention the part where you guys. Had Be like a, a weird vision, okay. woke up, didn't know where you were, vaguely recognized the, each other. It's the abridged version. I mean, the abridged yeah. version. I'm ju I just want to make that sure everyone remembers the Kyle, my lore building. I am going to be playing, <laughs> er, writing, really Tavern here is abridged. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're starting campaign two. So uh, at the very end, as Nate, said, again? As, Na one again? as Nate said, at the very end of the last session... We got uh, y'all. Y'all got on the boat to go to Kritakia to go talk to the king there over the incident from can, last time. Can you remind me the name of the uh, boat captain, please? Bobby Boatman. Uh, Bobby Boatman. The best NPC. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for Tommy Trainman and. Um, quick tip for all of you. Uh, Cartman. Quick tip for all of you wannabe DMs or aspiring DMs might sound better. To make a to make the players love an NPC, just give them a goofy voice. That's all you need to do. That's oh yes, exactly, uh, I, I exactly. Like oh nice, Abby. Oh but, um, fuck. Okay, that caught me off so there. let's Night get city. Let's get started. So cyberpunk of you. So we were we were going to start with some RP going on on the boat, which we are still going to do. Um, some of the RP though did involve score uh, Spencer's character, so we are going to skip that obviously because. I'm going to play score, but the RP, that's going to be for him to do. You know, I'm just going to add little colorful commentary. So we'll just handle the RPs that y'all wanted to have between each other. So that cuts down on the RP quite a bit, actually. So um, I was so busy, I didn't have a chance to request anything. That's fine. Well, I'm trying to think of it. To just wing it. <laughs> yeah. Got Jenna, uh, something. Jenna, odds or evens. Oh, Jesus. Oh, What's Jesus? Is he odds or even? <laughs> you know, this is really weird. On Twitch, I can, like, see myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like Jordan. Crazy. Odds. Odds? Jordan, you're going first. Oh, you're welcome. Fuck. Okay. Good, okay. I can eat my it's pizza. Not a problem. <laughs> to set the scene... Oh. Uh, before... Can you turn the camera? Before... Who cares about you? Getting on the boat... Um, Score and Arden Sorry. were outside of it on the docks as Score was talking to Bobby Boatman, and I don't Thank know what Arden was doing. Trey did get on People the boat, watching. but tried to get on 
probably like ignoring you guys, or he might have gone on after you guys got on, or before. You can, we don't worry about. We can use our imagination. Regardless, Trey is on the boat, and so we start the scene in Let's the bar on. on the boat, and uh, Trey is at the, so the bar top, and the bar side is that what we said it was called? And Arden is also in the bar, and the bar. You go from there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do I? I'm assuming I notice him right away. And, and, <laughs> roll perception. If you roll on that one, this RP doesn't happen. No, I'm kidding. You notice him. Best that's a 19. Fuck. Okay. You, you notice um, him. Do you want me to smack you too? I'm... <laughs> Everyone wants to be hit by me. I'm, I'm metaphorically. <laughs> what can I say? Baldur's Gate 3 is still on, on the mind. Well, why um, does everyone want to get hot, hit by the hot water? Um, <laughs> I was almost late today because of Baldur's Gate I keep losing names. Thank you. Who cares about me? Oh. Leave him alone. Um, Holding my character sheet would help. Can you raise my game just a tiny bit? I don't know what microphone number you are. No, he's. It's Nate, like can he's you do it? Much, Jordan. Like, it... I commonly lose him. Oh, let me check That's my it. connection. Um, so I'm going to. Jordan, we can RP while we're figuring out. Yeah, I'm also pulling up Arden. I'm going to. Um... I hope that didn't hurt your ears. <laughs> no. He's. um... Going to go up and just kind of. Better? How frail was he? Can I just go up and just like smack hand on shoulder? <laughs> I mean, you can. Like, are you doing it to hurt him? No, just to kind of get his attention and let him know that I'm I'm there and I I, I want to talk. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go up. <coughs> can I get you a treat? Get out of my gold. No. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> I think I'm fine. I put, I left the poison at home. Can I get you a drink? Fine. <laughs> left the poison at home well, this I, time. I don't even. I I don't have any poison. Find thank you very juice. much. <laughs> I mean, it is orange juice with Nat one. Something. He believes everything you're gonna say. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. So anyway, um, you're a piece of shit. You know what? I am. <laughs> <laughs> you should give me the. You should uh, tell me everything that you know. Like, uh, um, you should give me the amulet. <laughs> yes, I think I will. <laughs> These are not the droids you are looking for. Um. um well, so, you do like to say I'm a lot. Um, 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 um. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I didn't know I'd get this far. Um, <laughs> um, I'll flag the bartender. Does he, I'm assuming he already has a drink. So I'll basically just be picking up his tab. I'm assuming that works. Okay. I've, uh, I'll have uh, one of what is, he is having, please. What is he having? <laughs> he is having a Bloody Mary. <laughs> he would. He would. That Sorry. Like... Magic Bloody Mary. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's much better. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't have to be magic. It could just be Because nothing sounds better than tomato juice mixed with vodka. <laughs> so it's tomato juice mixed with blood. <laughs> Trace a vampire cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Was he really pale? Um... And a celery stick. <laughs> I, I did want no, to. Good, Barry, good Bloody Marys have an entire dinner on top of them. Oh my God. I, did, I did want to apologize for everything that happened. Was It was technically today still, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's like nighttime. It's nighttime now. You do have to understand where we were coming from, not really, um, you know, not having much memory over the past three months. And then having someone that, no offense, seems shady as fuck. At what point did I say the memories were three months? I thought you said a, I thought you said it was a couple months. I don't remember saying that. I thought it was a couple months. Oh, okay. Well. I never specified when you got. I just told you guys that whatever you picked as your having last a thing you having said. a lapse of well, technically for me it was it would have been a couple months. Um. Actually, I think I could not have. Been, you know. Keep going. Just have some memory. There's a lab. Uh, oh. There was a. <laughs> you have to understand that, you know, 
having a lapse of memory and then having someone that, no offense to you, looks and seems and was acting shady as fuck, and you, you enlisting our help to find this amulet that we know nothing about, I mean, it did seem, seem kind of shady. So I did want I did want to apologize for that. I was just kind of curious. I'm a naturally uh, inquisitive person. Uh, he's. You can tell by his face that he was very surprised to hear you apologize, and then his face like went a little to a slight disappointment as you continued on, basically saying, "But you did kind of have it coming." I didn't. Um, I know that's not, not what you said, but, but like that's how that's perhaps how he took it. But anyways, he says... And I'm not saying that you're at fault. I'm just say, saying that you're, I you're know, stupid. I I get what you're saying. <laughs> I appreciate your apology, and I accept it. So anyway, about that amulet. Down. Yeah, she went to go grab dice. Oh. Oh. But so I hope you can understand... For some reason, when I look away, it doesn't trigger the voice activation. But can we... But... Oh, fuck. I lost my train of thought. I appreciate your apology, and I do accept it. However, I'm just a... Pardon me. Lovely. I'm just a very mm -hmm. cautious individual. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all. I, I guess I can see how, like, waking up, not knowing anything, all that jazz. How seeing someone who's, like, constantly looking over their shoulder, even though I thought I was hiding it pretty well. That, uh, not, not really. Oh, gosh, I need to work on it clearly then. Uh, how that can look suspicious. I get it. I get it. I was just trying to help you guys. Okay, the band, the the guys that were gonna fight you, that was a lapse in judgment on my part. That I will admit. You can say that again. <laughs> but also, it was kind of shitty of you to try and steal the necklace from me. And I mean, I. But it, 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 was, it was very beautiful. I'll let, I'll I let mean, my guns be gone. Okay. I get to cast my illusion again for the necklace and just kind of look at it again. <laughs> really don't like it when you just, do that. Really don't like it. Oh, don't Can worry. I, like touch it real you quick don't... just to make sure it's actually. No, I'm I want to touch it. I'm gonna just please let like... me touch it. <laughs> Consent. For my own sanity, Does let me my... touch it. Is there a physical aspect, or is it just purely a trick of the light? I assume it's an illusion. I th it's purely a trick of the light. Okay. No, don't worry about it. You definitely have the real one. And I dispel it as I put it back in back in my bag. <laughs> he checks his pockets once more. Okay, whatever. Was there anything else you wanted to, to talk about, Arden, was it? Yes, uh, Arden is... Yeah, don't wear, don't wear it out. Uh, you have an interesting choice in drinks, by the way. It, it Arden finishes, leaves the gold on the counter, and walks out of the room. <laughs> and it's definitely a lot more gold than the drinks would have been worth for the bartender. Ooh. Tries to take a couple of them as the bartender looks away. Okay. Trey, don't make me smack you. Oh, fine. <laughs> fine. Mm. Okay. Um, is that all you wanted to Major do then with that? Smack. <laughs> is, all you, is that all you wanted to do with uh, that, that's Jordan? That's pretty much all I had. Okay. Um, so, There's something else I, I am do pretty sure... E Did you want to do your... Um, I need to actually think of what I'm going to say. Okay, then we're not going to do that right now. Um, uh, let me think of it, and I will come back to me in probably you know, a little bit longer than Jenna's roleplay. <laughs> then we can just do it later in the session. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the other roleplay was going to be uh, Alzora and Amaris. So uh, okay. where are you guys? How are you meeting for this one? Where am I? The eternal question. Who am I? What am I? Why am I? Why am I? Do you want me to just pick a place for you? Um, are there bed spaces on the boat? Are there bed spaces? Like, like Is it a sleeper? Is oh, it yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are going to be on there for like eight hours, so yeah. I didn't know. I just thought it was a By the boat. way, you guys can take a long rest. Even though technically you're not sleeping the whole time, I mean, it's close enough. I'm not going to follow all the rules. Listen, I already realized that last session I should have technically had Trey not be charmed when this one kept hitting him and this one. But it's okay. We all make mistakes. There's Maybe no he's there's it. no remorse on that face. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I can get away with stuff, I'm not going to, you know, be <laughs> opposed. It's all good. So. Okay, so you guys are in the bed space then. You guys can I mean, it's up to you guys. I'm I'm not here. You clearly are. I am the room right now. <laughs> Please don't room. watch me. I he was in the room where it happened. Room. 
my god. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is scary. Jordan um, got it. Jordan I'm got say it. Alzora is just on the bed tinkering on something at the moment. Is she like laying on her stomach, like tinkering with it in front of her, and her yeah, feet are like, like do do do? Oh, yeah, baby shark do do. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> like her like skipping in there. And she definitely is kicking her feet. Yeah. Okay, cool. Like, more of like a, you know, doing a little. <laughs> Uh, Cute. So yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's working on a little trinket thing. Does it look Screw like a bear? You carrying that pop over my laptop. Does it look like a bear? The trinket that they're working. On? Sorry, bad reference. Bad reference. Does it look like a voodoo uh, doll of Arden, so I can punch it? <laughs> <laughs> Show me where it hurts. I'll make it hurt. Okay. What did I do? You opened your mouth. <laughs> Arden is now a mute. Uh, I guess uh, Mars is just gonna lean against a wall and brood. Maybe look at her sword. <laughs> look over at her sister. Uh, are you brooding over there? You know it's one of my finest talents. Yeah, you take after dad in that sense. Dad is the paragon of brooding. I, I'm just trying to live up to his example. His example. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I am. Oh, Best believe it. Just fine. Okay, are, are you just fine? That's a loaded question, but I don't know if you're ready for that answer. I... I know, I know, we have like, it's been what, six, seven, seven years? Seven years, and like a few days, maybe a couple months, I don't know, it seems like there's like a time gap, question mark, Kyle? Does it feel like there's a time gap? Um, DM? like, as far as your like, memories? Maybe, yeah, you said like, we kind of recognize each other but not really so like is there like a well, time lapse well vibes? well you azora and amaris recognize each other it's everyone else that's qu questionable like familiarity yeah yeah but i meant like does it mean that there's like a time lapse general familiarity or like is it just like oh we may know these people i interpreted as a kind of i like you know that the, that feeling you get when you see someone you've seen before, but you didn't know them. I mean... That's what I thought you were talking maybe about. Maybe you guys will find out more throughout the campaign. Oh my <clears> god. <throat> god damn it. Okay. What do you guys think it is? We're all oh, for fuck's sake. It's like I think, think like y'all are You expect me to answer all your questions? It's, it's like a teacher that really wants you to try to get the answer to the math problem all by yourself. And okay, the well, vibes that Elzora got, though, at least from your description, is definitely there was some sort of time lapse, and we're missing memories. So. Well, she just. She if just that's how Elzora that thinks, then go with it. Okay. Because that's what Abby thinks. <laughs> Abby thinks? I'm gonna smack you. I, I probably deserve it. I will. That was Jordan, not Arden. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smack you both. I'm capable. It's the smack that breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> After we get done with the conversation, for some reason I have this burning rage to go smack Arden across the face. I didn't do it. Um. He looked at Azora funny. <laughs> he did. He did. He had the audacity to sit by her at the bar. <laughs> The audacity! Fuck you. <laughs> it was the dice. He didn't do it. <laughs> Fuck your dice. Yeah, but it's been it's been several years now. Yeah. We got uh, got some catching up to do. I think. Uh, yeah, those those years were kind of wackadoo. I mean, like, how do I, how do I explain it? Like, I worked for the queen. And I met a lot of people, like, I met these people from, like, way long ago, like, the people, that my puppets, they're based on actual people that I met, but, like, take them, they're really fucking cool. Take them right. Oh, all right, all right, I'll... Let's hold on to that a little bit, but I want to swing on back remember around Remember that most to... of you, I think, actually recognized them. I can't yes. remember if you I, did. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think it was only two. Yeah. I think it was only two, besides myself. 
I know I did. I did. I thought it was everyone except one person that I think recognized it was Spencer them. Spencer was the only one that didn't. Because I remember making a joke about how the magician lost all of their memories. I mean, regardless. Regardless. Who recognized the crest? That's what I did. So. I, yeah, I think you're right, Abby. I'd love to hear about them, but what queen are you talking about? The Sealy Queen, of course, the one that the that our dads made a pact with, and so they could have us. Right. Yeah. Did right, they, that bitch. Did not tell you anything? I I guess I didn't realize it. I thought it was just some witch. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, the same person, I suppose. That she's a witch. In a in another sense of the word, she really bitch. is just a fucking bitch. But it's I was, yeah, I like the rhyme. Uh, <laughs> ain't too good with words, but I like a good rhyme. You guys were okay with Jordan and Nate being in this, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Shit up. <laughs> Sorry. This is why we, we we lore dump, man. Yeah, here's where we're lore yeah. dump. Second and episode. Get and get ready to re and retell it to Arden I'm and. Be sitting in the corner practicing my spell casting while this is going on. Can every single time just blow up in his face? Maybe every other time. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's not so a wild ma magic sorcerer. It's fireball. So you... <laughs> no. Fireball. I don't care how big the boat is. Fireball. <laughs> Keep go ahead and keep going, guys. So, uh, what were you doing for? Oh, you know, building weapons. Uh, there's some like gaps. I don't know how to describe it. Um, in my memory, like like the gap before we got here. Um. Like, like memory loss or something. That's oh, like straight up memory loss. Wow. Yeah. And you know, it's like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, it's like whatever I was doing for her, she does not want me to know. Well, curious. Wonder if there's a way that we can uh, get your recollection cooking. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of gaps. Um, but mostly just working in the castle. I had like my own room with a forge in it, so I was able to practice skills. And I met this really cool person who taught me about puppet magic, and it's been a real good time. I'm sorry, you uh, met somebody who taught you this voodoo hoodoo? <laughs> it's not voodoo or hoodoo. It's hoodoo voodoo, sis. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> it's, it's the puppet magic. You, you use the finger points and there's like yeah. things that come out. And the way you move your hand moves the puppet. Z, I'm, I'm very impressed by you always, but that is darn right creepy. I, <laughs> I can't. I can't. It is not creepy okay it is out of character it kind of is creepy <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. in character is use. creepy darling <laughs> it is an interesting use of magic it's uh, uh it's it's creative i'll give you that um it's something i haven't seen before and um yeah, so a lot of people don't know uh, how to react to it. Right? You, you got me. <laughs> um, I just, Guilty as charged. I just... Uh, Here's I, a question. Can you cast spells? You're not with, here. You're not even here, you're buddy. Not, I thought you said that... No, we're no, in you're the room. No, you're you inserted yourself in, Nate. You're in the, no, no one like, approved of that. The wor you're the the I door? misinterpreted what you said. No, we, we, we got like Go a back in the corner where you belong. I'm, I'm still in the corner practicing oh, spells. Oh, that's cat. I love the cat. That's, that's someone that's... who's inserting themselves. He did. He really just started like slowly creeping onto my desk. Good. Anyway. Wait, who's that <laughs> pussy cat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, hold on, Abby. You oh, can actually wait. role play with that. Yeah, you could. Hold on. Mossy. Abby. I'm gonna call it can... pussy. Mm -hmm. Your background removal is not removing your cat. That's fine. Yeah, you can see. You can still see cat. Like, I love your the cat's cat. Ass. Okay. Well, hold on. I want you guys to see something. Look at my cat's blep right there. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like if Lazelle had a blep. 
Yeah, like, this is her blood right here. Adorable. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry. Adorable. <laughs> Stop breaking things! Damn it. Break things harder. <laughs> Don't do anyway. it. I'll break bones. Daddy. All I'm good at is, uh, breaking bones and, um, slicing and dicing. So, it's mighty, it's no. mighty impressive. What? <laughs> well, maybe schmoozing. <laughs> and uh, wooing? Uh, nah. I don't woo too like, hard. Is that all you've been doing? All I've been do well, we've been escorting people. We've been taking jobs here and there. Been like working. escorting, like, fuck people? No. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> no, no. I mean, well, there was, there was Damon for, like, a, cu a couple of years, but no, no. You mean our friend, Damon? <laughs> oh, I, you know, no, uh, <laughs> I'm at escorting, like, like, um, just You're getting. Escorting Damon? No, <laughs> no, no, sis. God damn it. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> She is blushing something fierce. She is trying to avoid this at all costs. Um, no, no, sis. I just, I'm taking jobs like I was protecting people from bad stuff. Not bad fucking stuff. them. Jesus. <laughs> protecting them from virgin. <laughs> protecting them from having a boring night. You know, they, they hired me as a chastity belt. <laughs> they didn't know what kind of lashing they were gonna get. Um, <laughs> but I'm saving them from all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Nasty and otherwise. But, uh, yeah, so, is that it? Is that escort? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> killing, bruising. Brooding. Uh, <laughs> I was, um, fighting in a boxing ring for a bit. Boxing ring. Oh yeah, Give just a uh, pop, pop. Uh, yeah, pop pop. Uh, I had trouble finding work at first when I was younger, and uh, mm, I just uh, just wanted to forget a little bit. So I went and fought and got knocked around a bit and knocked other people around a bit. Is that where you got like those little rabbit things that you got going on? Yeah, they're my good luck charm. She lifts up her arm and she kind of flexes and she does a little. <laughs> Hand clinch, like, yeah. Like Rosie the Riveter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, exactly like Rosie. Um, wait, 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 wait. Wow, your muscles have really, you know, grown. You used to be like a twig. I know, I know. Really grew into myself. Ouch. I just, uh, what, listen, we all got to start somewhere. <laughs> and I started off as a twig, and now I am a fully grown uh, willow tree. <laughs> From twink to tank. <laughs> <laughs> no one fights like Mars does. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. Um, I saw your uh, your best friend for a bit. Hung oh, out. Yeah. Um, how's she doing? Good. I haven't seen her in a a year or so, but. Last I saw her, she was good. She, uh, settled down, or? Uh, can't remember. I think she, uh, she met someone, but I don't know if they were serious or not. I mean, guess you can't wait around seven years for somebody. <laughs> you no, know, were you a little bit sweeter than you let on? No, she only does that. <laughs> you sure? One hundred and negative thirty-four. Uh, <laughs> See, you know I'm not good at math. I don't know what the <laughs> hell that means. <laughs> wow, you didn't get into the artificer business. No, like I said, I'm just good at breaking things. These guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You These guns. 
Sun's out, guns out. Working, 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 working. The sun's not out, but the guns are still out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the sun is out. It's 103 <laughs> degrees outside. The um, oh. the old blacksmith spilled. No one thinks you look buff until you hit them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you hit someone, they they know you're buff. I uh, I hit him real good. Yeah, they see stars and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, oh, I had a very uh, fun experience at one point. Oh yeah. I think that was El Zora, right? I don't know. You tell me. Test, let me pull up the 11 pages here. <laughs> Shut up! It's yeah, true, though. Right now. I actually yeah. added some to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only a little. It was about Damien. Um, hold on, sorry. My brain is like... I need to fill in some names in mine. Um, sounded like the Tarzan down. yell there. Oh, Kyle, you're free to insert NPCs into my backstory if you want to. Do Noted. It. Oh my god. The literal big bad How evil guy of the it. campaign murdered everyone in your turn. I mean, oh yeah, I had a real wild time. <gasps> what kind of wild are we talking here? Like, wild. Like a party? <laughs> you can call it a party. Alright, I'll call it a party, but what kind of party are we talking? I think we know. You are my sweet little sister by a whole minute. And you're telling me you had a party? Yeah, eight people. Eight, eight people? You don't have the attention span for eight people. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, Forgot about this part. <laughs> yeah, there's a part in there. I done read it last night. <laughs> but I did. I did find out something from that. So that was beneficial to me. Yeah, where the where the good where the good part is, uh you didn't know that before? No, no. I did. Okay, okay. We don't need to get into that. I think there are some things that I don't no. need to know about you. <laughs> yeah, there were things that I learned about myself. All right, what what did you find out? We, we can discuss that later. Why <laughs> can't? Why not right now? It's kind of like an interesting bomb, I guess. But I don't know. I feel like I should tell you because I just haven't seen you in so long, and I just want you to know me. You know. All right. Yeah. Tell me. I thought I was like asexual, like I didn't want any of that business. All right, I I I respect that. I don't get it, but I respect it. But then I figured out I do, just with the right person. Oh, so you mean you just need like a special connection with someone? Yeah. All right. Otherwise, I don't want it. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel that too sometimes, but yeah. Like, yeah, then I'm gonna look at people. Good connection before I do anything wild. Like I'll flirt. This is for you to know, and why there was nothing that was gonna happen with that fucking fool Trey, because I just flirt to get my lay, but ain't nothing coming out of it. Oh well, I do the same thing. Yeah, but you got pissed off that I was flirting. Well, I hadn't seen you in seven years. And suddenly my little sister was going after this, I don't know, dumbass <laughs> son of a bitch. And I didn't like it. So, yeah, I got a little territorial. A little territorial. <laughs> a, just a, a smidgen. Just a smidgen. What is the definition of a smidgen? It's the diameter of my muscles. A smidgen. Sorry. Sorry, can you say that again, Abby? I said it's like the Grand Canyon. Magic Grand Canyon. The magic Grand... The, the sm my smidgen is the Grand Canyon. Y'all are blusterers no. over here. What? No, no you're, this is very accurate description, okay? <sighs> Look, I, you know, 
I just, uh, last I knew you were, we were just kids. Finding our way. And, uh, yeah. We were 16. Dumbasses ourselves. I'm a dumbass. Not as much of a dumbass as Trey, though. Let's just be clear <laughs> about that. That's true. Poor guy. Do it. What is my password? It's the I one I use for everything. I hate myself. Well, I, can, I can see it though. <laughs> I you know my password. You, know, you knew my password for a while. I, it's the password I, I use for everything. For I log into everything. Yeah, there's no secret notes for me, guys. I can even see Kyle's tablet. <laughs> I can't really. <laughs> say, I'm not even on the screen. <laughs> Cheat codes. <laughs> you are on the screen. I can see your tablet. <laughs> oh, wait, you can. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to look at it. Even if I did, I'm very good at, like, compartmentalizing. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. <laughs> that camera doesn't have the resolution to pick up <clears throat> what you're reading. Yeah. Anyway... So you found what? Goldfish. All right, all right. So you you learned a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, at least um, something about it was beneficial. Oh, and I really like shiny things. <laughs> Who doesn't? But it like makes it hard to concentrate shiny things. Oh. Which is really hard when you're working in a forge. Oh, yeah, because you're making things shiny. <laughs> well, that's fucked up. Was that everything you guys wanted to <laughs> do for that RP? Or? I, th uh, I don't know. I'm just going to yes and until oblivion, but... <laughs> I, I mean... I, I didn't hear. When I we didn't hear you said, sorry. I said, like, was that all you guys wanted to discuss? I mean, when you started talking about shiny things, I was like, okay, are they waiting for I me to interject in here? Or... <laughs> no, that was me, actually... Mark has ADHD. You mean Alzora? That was me. Alzora, sorry. Oh, did I mean, did you want to keep going? We can go a little bit longer with this if you wanted to. Well, I'm just asking. Well, I don't have anything yet. No, I'm good. Okay. But she's just showcasing that she had ADHD. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't want to rush you guys. It's just I want to... No, I think that's about as much as Alzora would really say. Okay. Right at this point. Right Free hates me. Okay. Might be a little bit too much for Amaris if I dumped everything. <laughs> that might be true. Okay, so like, <laughs> so like I said, I did have we did have other RPs planned, but those involved score, so we're gonna skip those for now. Um, Jordan, did you have that prepared or did you? Want Not yet, because I didn't need my iPad for that. That's okay. <laughs> so give me yeah. some time. We will do it later. Uh, okay, so. I need to write it. <laughs> uh, night passes, you guys get a good, nice, long rest, and uh, wake up in the morning, hear the, um, maybe you get some breakfast, some delicious, tasty breakfast. Does, is What's there syrup breakfast? involved? <laughs> What's for breakfast? Uh, eggs, made <laughs> many different ways, and bacon, and pancakes, mm. and uh, muffins. Can Alzora pray to the amazing god of Tobin? And get free syrup. And uh, he fulfills Alzora's wishes. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings <laughs> upon you, my child. Arden does the same. <laughs> I'd like to hold down the glass as I pray the toast. <laughs> we all got to pray the toast. He blesses you as well. <laughs> Is the glass full of syrup? Yes. Is it the alcoholic kind? If you want it to be. <laughs> Yes. Okay, then yes, it is. That's the only way I'm praying to Tovin. If I get some hours. <laughs> Ouch! Poor Tovin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Tovin, I guess. No, um, not, not like that. Just don't, don't care for syrup. Are there any weird looks from people praying to a random god and getting cups of syrup for it? Uh, there's probably a couple people like a little weird about about it. Maybe there's like one or two people that are like, oh, he must. they must be praying to like one of the Greek gods. But, um... <laughs> the rest are like, what the fuck? <laughs> that one, like, that picture of that lady that's just, like, has a nervous smile, and she's like, eh, what the fuck? You know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. I pour some of the syrup on my pancakes, and then I drink the rest of the cup. I thought you were going to say I pour some of the syrup on my pants. <laughs> I don't know why. 
I'm like, why would you do why that? Why is it sticky there? <laughs> ne- well, hopefully we'll get a new change of clothes. Syrup. Where we go? No! You hear the... Like a... Doo, doo. I don't know if boats have that, but... Yeah. You hear the Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got you covered. No! Oh, oh no. I'm afraid. Are you gonna fart? Is- yeah, you hear that. <laughs> the Discord soundboard. <laughs> Fuck oh, you, yes. Abby. Then you hear. We have a soundboard hex. All right, may I have your attention, please? Absolutely. Good the boy. boat has arrived in Kotakia. All passengers, please begin onboarding at your earliest convenience. Thank you for sailing DSS Bribby. Um, have a lovely day. I love him. definitely asleep. And it's like snoring with her you're, mouth. You're not going to sleep through a ship's horn. <laughs> you could, Nate. In real life, you could sleep through a ship's horn. Good so, point. <laughs> okay, so where is everyone? I was under the impression everyone was at breakfast, but I guess Alzora isn't. We'll say Score is at breakfast. She likes to sleep in. Arden, Arden slept in. Well, you reckon we should get the He's other lady? <laughs> we should probably get the others, yes. Is Arden also at the? Oh, yeah. No, I was. I'm in. I'm in misery. Room. Yeah, that <laughs> that's time. Jordan. Arden, however, is in his room writing a letter. Okay, <laughs> so it's just score Amaris and Mid at the breakfast, right? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm getting the stage set. So Alzora's still sleeping. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y- y'all know where. The other two's rooms be? Well, I know oh, where I my sister's room is. You want to go get her and I'll go get the other one? Arden? Oh, Miss- is that his name? I believe that's his name. Fuck right. you too. What, what's your name again? I'm Midgard Sona. Um, kind of mid. Mid? mid? Can, I call, can we call you Mid? Mid-wise. You go. You got a nickname? That's a long name. Midworks. I. Are you sure you want to go by mid? <laughs> it's whatever everyone else calls me. I, there might be seems, a reason for that. <laughs> sounds a little derogatory, but I'll go with it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's uh, split them up. I'll go get my sister. I, I'll go get the. I'll go get Arden. You want to come along, mid? Sure. Okay. When we get to Arden's door, I give it a nice hard knock. Wake up before I get in there! Knock, knock, <laughs> knock. Arden, you hear that. You don't need to roll perception, in you the middle, hear it. In the middle of your last knock, Arden opens the door. What the f- And then he knocks on your face! <laughs> yeah, the momentum just carries it through. What the fuck do you want? Well, you heard the f- you, foghorn. Oh, yes, I, I, I did. That's the disembarkment sign. Maybe I don't want to get off. Yeah, let's go. I'm throw him over my shoulder. <laughs> I'm writing a letter. I'm, I'll be out in a minute. Thank you. All right. I don't know. He said he threw you over his shoulder, so. No, I don't. Okay. I don't. <laughs> okay. If you can catch me. <laughs> I guess score in mid. Wait for Arden to finish. No, I, no he's. Well, Jordan, he, here, here. Like walk slowly in front of me. <laughs> Sorry. God. I was hoping we would at least get off the boat this Jordan, session. We yeah, are. Have you seen my stats? No. No. 20 charisma, then strength and dexterity are 16 and 17. How do you have 20 charisma? No, never mind. Never mind. Uh, racial bonuses. Oh, right. <laughs> yep. It shows a very human. Okay. Anything interesting? Go on with Amaris waking up Alzora. It's actually custom. Yeah, yeah I'm going to throw a bunch of water yeah. on her because this is what we had to do <laughs> as children. And then I'm going to pull the covers off. May I ask where you got the water from? We're on a not boat. Like a washroom somewhere. <laughs> We're on a fucking boat. Over oh, course. Yeah, okay. Like in the room, I was. I would just assume like I don't know. Oh, I didn't. Is I there s- modern plumbing? I didn't think there would be a bathroom connected to the room, but I, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, I. You yeah, know, if there's crazy. a public washroom, I'll go get some water. They can grab okay. A glass I guess of that's water fine. From the gallon. Yeah. I'll just. Uh, Sorry, I'm. I'm being too technical. Yes, go ahead. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna pull the covers off of you, all slick like, okay. and then I'm gonna. Toss water on you, just like when we were children. Cause y'all, y'all don't fucking wake up. <laughs> I don't got time for this. I didn't know Alzora was based on me. Oh well. 
I didn't either. Uh, she, you were describing she me like, perfectly. <laughs> Excuse me. You could have just shook me awake. That and didn't I'm work. Wet. That didn't work seven years ago, <laughs> so I didn't figure it would now. You didn't even try. Well, no. You didn't even try. Do you want me to try now? Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes real tight. Real tight. I can drop. I can wake, wake up. <laughs> the drop of a pin, okay? A pin? I opened the fucking door and you didn't open up. Oh, you don't crack an eye open. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Don't give me that sass. Close your eyes. I'll show you how I wake up. Close them. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Mars is gonna like shake the mattress. <laughs> 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 I love that. It's gonna be like an earthquake in bed. <laughs> she's trying to like, she's gonna like shoot out her hands like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alzora, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Your ass gets thrown onto Amaris the ground. Roll, Amaris, roll strength. <laughs> Just a check or a, uh, check. Just a check? I really want Alzor to fall out of bed. <laughs> just flop. <laughs> what did you get? 22. <laughs> Alzora? 15. Alzora, you fall out of the bed. <laughs> she falls onto the floor, face first. Smacks her face, has a bloody nose. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to go that far, but okay. Damn, I don't you. Want her to feel guilty. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> oh shit, see, I didn't I didn't mean to do it that hard. Well, you did, so good job. Oh, look, I don't know the power of my own guns yet. Leave me alone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 you out of the room. Thank you. See, come on now. She you follows me. Bloody nose. Yeah, I got a handkerchief if you want it. No, she wipes it off her thing and oh, puts okay. it on her shirt. Oh. Dad will be so upset. <laughs> no, not not, okay. not Artifice Dad. What's Artifice Dad's name? Holy crap. He'd be he'd be a little. I I'm a little <laughs> ew. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't, I don't care. I'm just giving you shit. Yeah, well, you know. But I uh, I'm, I am sorry. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I'm a big girl. I okay. can handle it. I know you can. All right. With, let's get to the others. With that resolved, <laughs> I'm going to say Arden has finished his letter, and y'all get start to get off of at the docks of Kritakia. Uh Bobby Boatman is... Uh, what? Uh, sorry. Bobby Boatman is um, there just saying bye to everyone. Thanking them bye. for the cruise. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I am. What about it? Bye, sir. <laughs> Fair winds uh, and following seas. <laughs> bye. Fair winds and following seas. Ignore him. He's weird. Okay. Ign oh. ignore, ignore him. He's weird. Bye. Bye, Bobby Boatman. I think we became really good friends during this trip. Bro. And then Bro. he just keeps saying bye to people. <laughs> you guys. He's gonna just go up and shake his hand like really aggressively. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks so much for their flip side. Roll for handshake. <laughs> no, don't roll. No, I'm not gonna keep You're doing gonna that. Do that. I'm not gonna day. keep doing that. <laughs> that is Dungeons and Daddy's territory. I'm not stealing it any. <laughs> like, okay, but it was a good handshake regardless. I will say that. <laughs> And he was very shaken, but he's like, oh, thank you. And Why do I just have this imagination of the classic ragdoll handshake? Something like Where that, the maybe. the whole body goes with it. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, so you guys get off at the docks of Kritakia. As you guys make your way past the docks, which are significantly bigger than the ones you saw in Selphias, and there are a lot of ships docked there. There's people roaming all around. In fact, as you start to enter Kritakia, you see that this city is pretty big. At least it looks pretty big from the little bit you've seen so far. There's a lot more people running around. It's like a very typical fantasy, very highly inhabited. 
Um, you see like vendors all over the Do place. Do you see any and symbols that we recognize? You see any symbols that you recognize? Specifically that one company. You can roll perception. Can I join him in that? Or Yes, of course. Okay. That's a maybe. Oh, that is a definitely not. That's the first bad roll with Twelve. that dice. Uh, you said perception? That is a total of a four. Uh, no and no. Okay. I, know. I joined in on the perception checking. Yes, what did you roll? A 21. <gasps> Bitch! I got a 20. We were close. Ooh. Damn. Shit. Your eyes are just that much better than mine. I see one more squirrel than you. <laughs> I'm you guys, proud of you. Okay, you guys did spot a couple of people that seemed to be... Ooh. Hmm. You guys spotted a couple of people that seemed to be looking at you, and then they kind of slip into the crowds. Um, you you did that? just barely see on one of their arms seemed to be like a little patch that you caught out of the corner of your eye. Kind of looked a little bit like the point of a star, maybe. Did you catch that? Yeah, I'm seeing them. A little sketch to me. Can I take note of what those people look like? They disappeared kind of quickly, but okay. um, you you barely saw that one of them was a drow, and another one was uh, I'm trying to remember right now. You know what, they were both drow. How about that? Okay. They're just two? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, okay, so... You guys get to kind of like a big... Um, bulletin board... That has several locations listed on it. As well as a little container that has maps in it. So you guys are able to get a map of... Volira, the continent you're on. I don't have a question for that. Hang on. Um, I take the map of Volira. That's okay. I'm I'm also going to share it in the server real quick, just in case anyone doesn't have it. Just The it map can... is now displayed on the stream as well for the time being. I will turn it back in just a moment. I'll include my map as well, even though it looks significantly shittier. It I, does, I, I, at I've the very it. least, include how the kingdoms are divided. But, Ab but Abby's is way better, so just use hers for 99% of the time. <laughs> um, so there's that. You now have a map of Volira, so you can see that Celephias, where you previously were, was in like kind of the southwestern, uh, not the very corner, but right around there. And Kratakia is more of like the uh, middle western part of the continent. If that's a good descriptor, I guess. As for the points of interest, uh, on this bulletin board, you see one arrow pointing to where the castle is, one pointing back to the docks where you were, one pointing to the University for Adventurers. We by should definitely not go there. By the way, feel free to uh, pause, uh, pause me if you need to. Uh, one pointing to where the town square is with a special sign saying Stefan Irving performance. Um, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Stefan Irving performance. Do you need me to spell that? Uh, I can guess it. Okay. Uh, one pointing to the Grand Cathedral. And the last one is pointing to cyberspace trams. Cyberspace trams? Trams, like T-R-A-M-S. <laughs> There's a good mixture of uh, sci-fi in here as well. Did I mention that? <laughs> I think you did. I mean, what most of the puzzle from last episode definitely told us that. <laughs> Uh, would we have encountered, like, cyberspace trams or whatever in our daily lives? You would have at the very least heard of them. Whether or not you've used them, I leave up to you guys. But 
You've very likely heard of them. Would, sorry, would Alzora have been, like, kind of familiar with speaking out about them? And asking you is it techno- technological enough? Yeah, if you want her to have been geeking out about them, then yeah. Okay. Well, we, we I don't think she geeks out about a lot of the technology that comes through the world. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> is there a mailbox? But yeah, oh, you're all you're all familiar <laughs> with it. Question. But as far as whether or not you, you've used them, I leave that up to you. They are probably pretty new, though, so you probably haven't used them a ton. Go ahead, Nate. About how large is this continent? Um, it's like a little smaller than Australia. We're in magic Australia. Okay. If you wanna. Hell no! Fuck that! The spiders? No, thank you! And suddenly Callie? a giant koala steps on you. No, that's Jordan. Kelly's spheres definitely All came right, from well, Jordan's spheres. I don't like spiders, but Mars could take them. <laughs> so I feel safe. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, you know what? We'll do this right now, real quick. Is there any similarity between the stuff Alzora thinks up and um, the <laughs> the tech that we're seeing around us that would indicate they might have a common root? I'll leave that up to Abby if she wants to have had any kind of involvement in that. I'm gonna say like probably not a ton, but if you want to have had a little bit of involvement. I'm okay with that. If that's is that kind of what you were asking? Yeah, I was kind of uh, I was kind of asking if yeah. it looked like the technology that we see around us was or shared a common ancestor with the technology that Alzora makes. Again, that's up to Abby. I rolled a seventeen on it, so I'd say yeah, that's fine. So yeah, um, if you want, you could have even like maybe helped to develop them at least a little bit. Probably not a lot. Made it all. Okay, I say it'd be like an opportunity that was provided by the queen because she was whatever. That works. That doesn't change. My um. Identity. Suddenly, uh, you guys, uh, um, would I just say that you guys notice this? Eh, roll perception. Fuck it. Roll perception. Yeah. Okay, don't do fuck me over. Again? This time. Yeah. Can we already roll perception roll again? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're doing a thing. Dirty 20. Seven! Dirty 20. Okay. 17. Okay. I need to get a new set of dice. I'm rolling real 16. good. 16. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so everyone except <laughs> mid. Oh wait, I guess I have to roll for score. Score doesn't see it either. Um, everyone rolling. except score in mid. You suddenly see a tabaxi sprinting at you guys uh they they kind of look like a cheetah and they they are like out of character um it's not artesia you shut up you can roll history if you want yes what's up are they hot (laughs) be prepared to answer this question for every npc just say it very that's a 16 for history okay I wasn't rolling history. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. Oh, we're rolling history. If you want, you, I just really need. You don't have to. You know what? Fuck it. It's a cheetah person, of course. Oh, probably hot. not. Oh, that's awful. You know, I didn't even need to make you guys roll history. You can tell based off of their outfit, they're probably a mailman. <laughs> 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 and you hear them go, "Hey!" like the like the mailman from Twilight Princess. <laughs> Oh god. I was ex- <laughs> they are sprinting at you extremely quickly and then they stop right in front of mid and then they're like <gasps> Midgard's armor? Yes. Here's a letter for you. Thank you. Uh, can- You're welcome. Do you take outgoing mail? <laughs> oh, fuck. If you can pay the postage, yes. How much is the postage? <sighs> One gold. Okay, I passed the a letter. Shipping. Where's it going? Do you have it written on here? Yes, there it is. <sighs> Oh, where's it going? Where's it's it going? It's going okay. to the Ashen Peaks. Oh god, the Ashen Peaks! <laughs> <laughs> you know how far that is from here? Dick. <laughs> Here's two more pieces of gold for you. <laughs> okay, fine, thanks. <laughs> Changes this dude really quick. <laughs> hey, gold goes you a lot. Water. He gives like a it's little... Hot out here. Yeah. See ya. And then he sprints Thank you, off. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, sprints away. I check who the letter is addressed from. It is. It says it is from forty eight fifty three Godslayer Court, Vic Vicaya. No, cannot be delivered as addressed. <laughs> I literally wrote under- down the address that you specified. 
<laughs> he gets there and they're like, return to sender. <laughs> we, I, we assume, I assume so you open the letter. Open the letter. <laughs> it says, hi, mid. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Celephias, that's west of here, right? Well, regardless, thank you for writing. Your father and I are doing great. Well, mostly. Your father's a bit sick at the moment, but I've been taking good care of him. I look forward to seeing you again. Stay safe. Love you. Mom. Do you want me to or if she doesn't, if she wouldn't have written mom, then... She, she absolutely would have. Okay. I don't know, like, mommy or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, Probably so signed in golden. You get that. Do you want me to read the letter that I wrote or not? Of course. Oh, God. Okay. Yes. Um, to the Ashen Peaks and... Other relevant parties. <laughs> He's being sen it's, it's sensitive information. Um, I am alive and en route to Kartakia. My most recent memory is being assigned my mission. Upon waking up in a bar, we met an interesting individual. He wanted us to find... It was not me. I swear it was not me. He wanted, to find he wanted us to find help find an amulet. He later called a key. I have attached a sketch of both Trey, the rogue, oh, wait, wait, along with the amulet. He's uh, along with the amulet. He seems off. If you want to look into him, please send my regards to my parents. Respectfully yours, Arden Wincast. <laughs> You're gonna get Trey like assassinated. I am definitely going to get him assassinated. I say assassinated like he's like actually or, an important individual. or at least investigated. That's my goal. Okay, thank you for Are you that. Kidding? They probably won't even send an assassin. They'll just send an acolyte to bonk him on the head. So I've read you guys' points of interest. Like I said in the last episode, those are things I have either major things planned out or there's going to be little minor things um, where it's just exciting. But if there is anything that you guys want to go to that I did not list, just let me know. So it's up to you guys now to take the floor. have the list of those points of interest i do yeah because i'm not gonna i didn't that? i didn't yes. remember all i couldn't write fast enough i'll put them in the dm to play i know who i'm with yeah, i can copy and paste it kyle i wrote them down oh thank you i'll be so good at this oh my I'm god i'm not <laughs> i love her. there were uh you got six of them right abby well one of them uh, is the docks so here yeah i got uh docks castle university of adventures town square with the Staff in Irving performance. I'm gonna have that over just a little bit for you guys. Grand Central and Cyberspace Grants. Did I miss anything? I think you got all of it. Cool. There you go. I thought you said Grand Central for like, instead of Grand Cathedral. And I was like, yeah, I, Grand Central I Station. Wonder, I put that here. Kyle, do they have same day shipping available at the post offices? Uh, in Kratakia, probably. I feel sorry for the mailman. <laughs> nah, I, probably should, fine. I probably should have specified it's not really too much of a rush. Eh, who cares? <laughs> yeah, now he needs to sprint up a bunch of mountains. <laughs> Rock climbing time! Hope you brought your parents. Your, uh, uh, ropes. Hey, at least the Baxis have a climb speed. <laughs> yeah. So where do you guys want to go? Uh, well, where are y'all thinking we should journey on to? Trey told us to go to the castle. You reckon we should go there right away or does, explore around a bit? I don't know. There seems to be a performance going on. That seems does like the, so does the name Stephen Irving ring a bell? Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Roll history. I'm going to roll history. Uh, that is a total of a 13. Score hasn't heard of him. I got a 15. I rolled an 18. Okay. My God. Nate. Let's see. That's mod 20. Mod twenty. Wow. Uh, yeah, you all rec you all recognize the name. He's a celebrity, uh, famous for um, working with animals and like doing like uh, little performances with them. <laughs> you guys know where this is going. You guys know where. <laughs> oh You've cracked the code. <laughs> we're, we're attending. Is that where you guys want to go? He puts his foot down. We're attending. I want to go. I go. <laughs> okay. Animals, guys. I want to go. Reckon we're heading over there first. Hell yeah. yeah. Does it say what time the performance is and what time of day it, it, it what time of day it is it is it currently? Uh. Because <laughs> <laughs> we won't be sitting there for a very long time. Uh, it says <laughs> for the time 
that uh, the performance is going to start in an hour. Okay. So, I mean, you guys can go there and wait, or you can see if there's something else you can do in the meantime. Let's go get tickets. We don't know how long the line's going to be. Oh, that's true. That sounds like a plan. I like how we're, I'm, I'm planning this like it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what I was thinking, like... Gosh dang it, get this reality out of my fantasy! <laughs> Okay, uh, if you want, you guys make your way to the town square where the performance is. Uh, they're clearly, like, still getting it set up. There's a little ticket booth. Are there, like, can shops I... in the area? Yeah, uh, just a second. As we're walking, can I watch for, like, one of those magic chase baits, please? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot about that. What? <laughs> what was it? A magic chase bank. No! <laughs> Roll perception, Abby. <laughs> Nate, what did you say? I'll fly for the magic debit card. Uh, I want to just like see if there's a cafe in, at the square that we could stop you, and have food at. You oh, okay. just had a breakfast. Second breakfast. You're not the fucking hobbit. Abby, what'd you roll? Well, I am. Maybe but you want to roll again? Sorcerers have 15? very large. Fifteen. Yeah, you find one. Oh god. You find that what the equivalent of a more well-known. Bank would be there. It's a. Uh, 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 well, it's Mage near go. Okay, it's um. Catch bank. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a chase catch. That didn't make. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But now it's canon. So we're rolling with. All right, you want to go to catch? Bank? What's the opposite of what's the opposite yeah. of chase? Be be chased, like no, flea bank good... pursued. No, Pray. Flea bank. We're going with catch. Fuck it. Pray bank. I know it doesn't make sense. Just shut up. I know I like it. We're, okay, so we're you, going to the bank. Sure, like you can it. deposit your money. Here, here's the way it'll work. Are you opening like a savings account? Would I already have a savings account? Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. The magic, for it. A magic payroll for her backstory. Her yeah, sort of her backstory. For for Actually, like, technically, Arden has a job I'm also. I'm not giving you a ton of gold at the start of the campaign, Abby. Kyle, all of his, all, all of Elzora's money is tied up in the Sealy Court Credit Union. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that. Your money the is in the, are, the, your money is are, in the Feywild. The assets are frozen because they can't verify your identity because you're in a new area. You got like offshore <laughs> stuff, <laughs> assets. Yeah, I have offshore bank accounts. I love that. Uh, that's kind of sketchy, to be honest. Uh, it's, it it kind of works. More like off world bank accounts. Take yeah. yeah. off from banking. I'll tell you what, you can open a savings account there. You'll get a magic debit card <laughs> and you will get. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to think. You'll get one gold per session, one extra gold per session. Per session. Yeah. Interest. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> that's not that great. I'm like, not, yeah. Can I do the okay. same thing? I'm gonna open Come on, that's like a week's pay for a peasant. Two bars of gold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm going to go to the post office and send another letter. Oh my god. Okay. Is the cheetah there waiting to <laughs> waiting to depart? Getting his next bag of mail ready? Uh, yeah. He, he sees you and just is like, oh, fuck, not you again. He's in the break room. He is like, water. he is Where drinking is water like faster than you've ever seen anyone drink water in your entire life. <laughs> Worry not, I'm shipping this, oh, the, the slow way. I'm not using express shipping. Coo, coo, tell them this is gonna be a fast for Arden's package. Coo, coo. Nope. nope. In fact, I'm gonna upgrade yours the same day. Oh no! The poor guy! <laughs> Fuck. This poor, no. this poor person. No, I'm not upgrading it the same day. <laughs> Yesterday so shipping. another letter to my mother. Okay. And say, um, our adventures. Uh, I, I had woken up in a tavern the other day with a group of. People who didn't know who they or they knew who they were, but they didn't know where they were. Um, we ended up doing some travel together in, in Selfias, and um, our adventures have taken us to Kotakia. I hope to hear that... from you again soon. 
Ah, uh, P.S. Please let me know when the next family gathering is coming up. <laughs> and okay. I address it, stamp it, and um, seal it. What's the address? Tell me right now what the address is. Uh, I don't remember. Six six Sith. I'm six messing. South I'm messing with you. I assume. Street. I assume Mid would have it memorized. Yes, so Mid it's fine. would have it memorized. I just pulled it out of my ass last session. I know. I'm just <laughs> messing with you. I'm surprised um, you even wrote it down. Oh yeah. I have don't... a question. Yeah. What's your Did question? Did you make this character a mommy's boy? Oh no! 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 no. no. <laughs> no. On the other side of the spectrum, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. really. I just okay. like I just like how his characters don't have mommy or daddy issues though. It's kind of That's interesting. True. That's true. Um, um okay. They they like to keep in touch with their family. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so by this point, family like boy. probably close to an hour has passed. I stamp it, I put it in the snail mail drop box. Gotcha. A literal snail the, comes out and starts to comes the out. tabaxi breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> At the same time, a snail walks into the post <laughs> office. Yeah, an Wait. anthropomorphic snail. Wait. There's probably a D and D race that's like that or something. Not even anthropomorphic, just a flat up snail. It's actually a turtle. You can carry one letter at a time. It's okay. actually a turtle. <laughs> so you guys, I assume, then go back to the town square to yep. get ready for the performance. Mm -hmm, of course. Uh, okay, so I, I lean over to Z and I say. You think he can wrangle this bull over here? He points over at Scar, you know, to like take care of his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's certain oh chat, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little uh, like a weakling to me. I know, right? His stupid ass cowboy code, wherever the fuck that is. Okay. And then, Sorry. um, you. <laughs> So there are seats like in like a circle surrounding this uh I don't I want to call it an arena. You want front row seats? <laughs> you have to pay there. extra for that. How much? You have to pay an extra two gold a person. I I think I have that. I can do it. Okay. Well you guys are sitting front row then. So you'll get very good a good view of what's going on. So it's a bunch of seats surrounding um, this circular circle uh, in the center <laughs> of just stone. Okay, how, much did, how much overall did that cost me? So I could just. It was like three gold, I think, because I think so it was five. one gold a ticket. Oh. Right. I think. Okay. So three and ten. Eight. And then there's like a little like stair stairways going down on two sides of the circle, kind of like in, like, uh... Kind of like in... I'm thinking, like, a hockey rink, where, like, there's, like, you know, you're, like, surrounded the hockey rink, and then there's, like, those two areas where the players come out of. It's yeah. probably for more than just hockey, but for some reason, that's what my mind immediately went to. That's pretty much any sports. Yeah, okay. So Stadium sports. Yep. So you so hear like a little drum roll as the crowd uh, starts to quiet down. The seats are pretty packed. And I'll see him. You good? No, you don't hear a but um no one makes a joke. <laughs> My life is a joke. And then uh ha ha. And then um you, you, as you hear the drum roll you hear ladies and gentlemen, Stefan Irving. And you see he is a a lizard folk. But a very interesting looking one. He's actually looks like a crocodile, basically. <laughs> and he let's just rip the band-aid off. He looks like Steve Irwin if he were a crocodile. <laughs> Take that as you will. And um Crikey! like as far as uh, outfit goes. And he gets up on the stage and he says, Crikey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he... Took that from you. Welcome everyone to my performance here. <laughs> I come God damn it. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him so much. I'll defend you. You're ready to learn a little bit about animals and, and watch me wrestle some. And the crowd is like He's all right going here. nuts. Is and there a fish tank very, with any sting race? This, this man has like a 30 in charisma. He just has like a very jovial attitude to him. Will Mr. Rogers be in the next camp next town over? <laughs> I hope and then Bob so. Ross and after that. And then Bob that. Ross in the town after that. <laughs> 
Stanley next. <laughs> oh my god. And so uh, you see a uh, small dragon come out uh, that's like kind of like growling a little bit at Stefan. He's like, all right, first we got ourselves here, little. <laughs> We got ourselves a little dragon here. Now I'm going to teach it. What? What color? For fuck's sake, red. Um, <laughs> first, I'm going to teach how to wrangle one of these little buggers. But we most important thing is we don't want to hurt the poor thing. So here's what you got to do. <laughs> They're very sensitive in their tail area. So I'm just going to... And then he like... He, he rolls animal handling and he rolls a natural 20. I'm not even going to roll. Uh, he's able to properly demonstrate how to if in the instance you were ever cornered by a dragon uh uh grapple it essentially to the ground to where it's not hurting you and also you didn't hurt it at all you just restrained it calmly so he has a dragon on the ground he's like never remember folks you, it's important you apply pressure here he's like going over like all the steps to this. Can you tell I didn't plan this out as much as I should have? No, it's good. I, Did you expect this to actually go Mars through? Mars is taking mental notes. Make note of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we like, be proficient if we want to wrangle a young dragon? You I mean, over, if you guys were paying close enough attention. You look over at me perhaps you and will. he is literally writing this. notes. How about you guys... You know what? Yeah, you can write notes. I'm Everyone, writing notes on you guys this. can roll like... Um, would it be an animal handling or something like that? Maybe? No, because animal handling would be if you actually, like, did it. I'm trying to, like, think of, like, what would you roll to, like, see how well you learn something? Investigation, maybe? Insight like history? I'll just say that if you guys ever come across this, you'll have a better idea as to what to do. We'll cross that bridge when like we get there. You don't need to one. roll for anything. Unless one of you wants to say that you just weren't paying attention. Score wasn't paying attention. No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> Score was paying attention. So, uh, Stefan Irving goes through several different... He goes through, like, a couple of different animals. Everyone's cheering. He's like, all right, I need to take myself a little break here, but I'll come back to you here shortly. And then... Magic commercial break. Okay, what's the, what are the commercials for, for the magic commercial break? Uh... A guy runs uh, up there with, like, a pill bottle, and he's like... Do you also struggle with erectile dysfunction? <laughs> no, believe it or not, I don't. Then take magic extends. <laughs> magic extends! And then he, he does! Just, and then, he does. Arden points to and then he just starts <laughs> listing out all the different side effects. Side effects may include. And then he just it it's like an extraordinarily long list. Diarrhea, vomiting, rashes, butt rashes. Pink eye, uh, <laughs> COVID, <laughs> death, and dismemberment, and this goes on for way longer than it probably should. Wow, Is that doesn't sound worse. Function eh? one of the side effects. <laughs> <laughs> Please note this product doesn't yeah. actually work. Yeah, at the end he goes and even worse erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Call, ask your doctor if magic extends is right for you. And then he just walk, he don't just forget, calmly walks off the stage. Don't forget what? the please call your doctor if an eviction occurs. Was that an actual four hours? Was that an actual patient or was that a paid spokesperson? It was a paid po spokesperson. Okay. They couldn't find the paid spokesperson. It's the person who developed it. <laughs> You know, I this show doesn't even shouldn't even have paid commercial breaks. Okay, so uh, okay. Stefan comes back on stage. Everyone's happy, clapping. He's like, "All right, who wants to take their turn rustling a dragon?" I did. All of us. All, I see a couple hands there, the audience. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna say score raises hand two. Fair point. Okay, well let's roll again. <laughs> uh, score will be five, six, I'll just reroll. Wow, my dice really want Nate to go, because, uh, I rolled a two twice. So, he says, ah, you there! Yes, you, come on up! I come up. Alright, did you see how I was demonstrating earlier how to do this? I took notes myself. Wow, impressive. Alright, we're gonna... 
All more right. impressive thing is there's not. So they bring out like for the note. They bring out like a. Into. They bring out like a little, a very small silver dragon. And he's like, all right, this one ain't quite as vicious, so y'all have an easier time. But just because of the color, you will still be able to do the exact same thing. Dragons, the small ones, they're all similar. I, I don't know what. Pff, I don't know what I'm going with this. Anyways, uh, so he's like, all right, so I'll be right here if you need any help, and uh, you can go ahead and roll animal handling. <laughs> Any bonus? You can add um, an extra, like, three to your roll, since you, like, even took notes and, like, were clearly paying very close attention. That puts me at an even ten. <laughs> ten. <laughs> can I, can I, uh, you're, like... Can I try speaking Draconic while I do this? Can Arden from the audience still... No, you're supposed to do this! To try to help him. <laughs> oh, to have him roll with advantage? To have him roll with advantage yeah, or okay. to give him a bonus. What is it? Still a 10. It got worse. Did it get worse? I can't tell. Is that a natural 20? Yes. That's a natural 20. Oh, good. After I Arden yells whatever he... After Arden yells, no, remember the tail first. <laughs> uh, 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 mid, it's like a light switch just flipped in your head. And you're like, oh, okay. And you perfectly like... Uh, are able to grapple it down to the ground, like even faster than Stefan did, and he starts like, squirting it behind the ears. I took better notes. It, it like not purrs, but makes happy dragon noises. <laughs> <laughs> and Stefan's like, "Whoa! Give this man a round of applause, everybody!" And like the crowd is all clapping for you. And he comes over and he's like, "What's your name, sir?" Uh, Midgard Sora. Midgard Zorma. Well, and he like shakes your hand and he's like, well, I've never seen someone wrestle a dragon down that fast in my whole life. I've encountered a few in my life. I see. Well, that was very impressive. Care to try something a little harder? Oh, why not? All right. Bring him out. <laughs> and then they bring out a much larger dragon. <laughs> um, color. Oh my gosh. Green. And, Chartreuse. Um, this one is like a, almost as tall as you. As you see the green dragon come out, it's like a switch flips in Mid's head, and his face goes much more aggressive. Stefan's like, now I'm here if you need help. Are you comfortable with this? This, this is going to be a little harder. All right, go for it. Arden's going to provide still, advantage also yeah, still the if needed. Advantage? Yes. Arden would help. Well, only add a plus one this time because... Much larger. Would have been 16. 16. Uh, you're actually able to get pretty, Wrestle. do pretty well. Um, the dragon is kind of like, a, you're not like to able to totally pin its body to the ground because it's like very large, but you are able to kind of like, uh, oh, what am I trying to think of? Restrain it a little bit. You're able to like, kind of like, push its wings down to the ground and like keep it down to the ground to uh goodness i'm so i'm sorry i'm doing a really bad job of explaining no, this okay. uh you're but you're you, okay sorry you have the wings pinned to the ground and it's like unable to like move with its full body because it's kind of like stuck on its side with the wings pinned and stefan is like wow impressive and um he says um i am going to while i have the green dragon pinned Whisper in its ear in Draconic, where is Vorthrax? <laughs> this sounds like stuff that should Vorthrax? I'm sorry, I don't know. Huh. And I carefully <laughs> back away from it. Okay. Um, it gets up and sa and it says in Draconic to you as it gives a nod, good fight. <laughs> good fight. And I bow to it. Oh, nice. L like, as a courteous... E everyone starts applauding immediately as Stefan says, let's hear it for mid, everybody. I look at Stefan and say, would these techniques work on a great worm? He, like, turns to you and he's like, a great worm? Like a giant one. <laughs> like a black great worm. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably not. 
Uh, that's a that's a little bit out of even my league. Does do does anyone else hear that in the group asking about the great worm? Um, Depends on the length of the clapping. I would how think. um well I, I yeah you probably wouldn't hear it. I mean Stephane, are you Stefan? So Stefan probably gets it broadcast over his mic <laughs> if he has a magic microphone. Oh, good point. That's yeah, okay, you hear it from Stefan talking through the microphone. Okay. <laughs> Huh. Um, so with that, he says, well, thank you, everybody, for coming. You've all been in a wonderful so audience. What's that? Uh, kind of under my breath, I say, should at least be useful against his brood. <laughs> okay. Just barely loud enough for Stefan to catch it. Uh, he just kind of, like, looks at you just a bit confused, but doesn't question it too much. Uh, but so he, he just... doesn't put together that I just asked if it worked on the Great Worm and then said it'll at least be useful against his brood. I mean, he could probably connect the dots, but he's just like, I'm gonna just hope that you're not Dude, up actually, to anything bad. Um, not actually planning on purging a black Great Worm? Yeah. Oh, that's so, not his job. So he uh, turns to you once more as the crowd starts to disperse slowly but surely. And says, great work. That was extraordinarily impressive. It's in my blood. I see. Literally. Uh, I would like to cast the spell Dragon's Breath on myself and then breathe fire up into the air. <clears throat> oh god, this again. There's a tent. Oh. Well, he's, he's helping with the... don't do that. He's <laughs> helping with the cleanup. <laughs> don't do that. He's helping with the cleanup. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I don't cast if there's a tent. He's like, I see. Interesting. Draconic bloodline. Gotcha. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me the subclass. I don't know ranger subclasses. I wasn't actually like mentioning it as a class, just as an explanation for why I'm good with dragons. Oh. Well, I mentioned it as an explanation why I'm good with animals. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> He says, well, thank you so much for coming. I've got to get going, though, so. Safe uh, travels. Same to you. Thank you. And uh, he goes back down. Watch out for those oceanic critters. I hear they can be more dangerous. No! <laughs> Fuck you! Got that right. And then he heads back down the stairs. May he rest in peace. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> So the performance is over now. Everyone's kind of. Uh, I really hope we don't everyone, in a couple of weeks see a, a newspaper article about him dying. <laughs> everyone starts to disperse at that point. Listen, if he dies, I am going to hire a cleric to cast a revive on him. Like I would kill Stefan Irving. Right. What about, Kyle what wouldn't do that. What, what about the equivalent of Bob Ross or Mr. Rogers? No. <laughs> no. What's that? If he ends up dying, I will hire a cleric to revive him. I don't that. care what and the cost. And then a bounty hunter to so kill the stingray. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well. Uh, Let's that, be honest, it that should be Cthulhu. Multi-class into cleric. Thank you for letting me know, Jordan. Or Oath of Vengeance. Sorry, it took me a while to respond. Oh, about the... Yeah. Is there a uh, detriment I should make a note of also? Actually, Kyle... That would Since I'm focused on one thing, is there something else that I'd take a hit on? Perception. Vengeance power Perception overall? That had pledged an oath of vengeance against a sitting, right? What would be the... Oh God. Would it be a general animal handling bonus, or would it just be for... Animal handling specifically. Okay. Okay, so um, at, the crowd is now starting to disperse... So, what do you guys want to do now? As a as a Abby note, I don't want to head to the castle until we have Spencer. That is a good. That is a good point. Um. Um. That's just Abby. Abby putting that out into the world. Okay. Because the castle would be the next. I'm I'm assuming that that's where you're told to go next, and that's the next plot point. I would assume that. Um. I just don't want to go there without Spencer because you know Spencer got hmm. on. Whatever information we learn. I guess. I need to transfer. I'm so sorry, Yeah, but I don't have a lot of other stuff planned other than the castle. 
I mean, I have the university planned, but I mean, you guys, that would also be Spencer missing on something. I mean, Spencer knew that he was going to mess out on stuff because he wanted us to give him notes, so. He guess. Well, we can fill him in. I mean, I'm sorry, like, I'm just being honest with you guys, like, I don't have a ton of other stuff planned other than the castle and the university. Well, those are the most fun sessions, though. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to tell you. You can go. Know, you can go to the other places too if you want. There's All just... right. Well, I, I don't have much need of uh, learning and how to be an adventurer. I, you know, what I've is done the that. University. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going on with that? What's going on with it? Yeah, sure. I mean, Would we know about this thing, or <laughs> it's a. Uh, um. Yeah, I'd say it's probably popular enough. It's basically a college for anyone who is kind of new to adventuring and wants to um, learn more about being a fighter or being a cleric or being a druid or whatever. Plebs. <laughs> so multiplexing. <laughs> now nah, they're just learning. They're like pups. Let's go beat up some students. <laughs> it, it's, like, it's like civilians <laughs> learning how to do things. Gotcha, gotcha. The little babies. Yeah, exactly. Pups. <laughs> There's a point of interest at the Grand Cathedral. <laughs> do you worship a god? Bahamut. <laughs> that checks out. I worship our Lord and Savior Toby. <laughs> you know, I can get behind that. <laughs> What is it? What it's, is it? it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm. Well, if he needs to do some prayers or something, I didn't didn't peg you as the top. I'm not devout. Okay. It's never a bad idea to stop it. I can tell you guys if you do choose to go to the castle, um, there's not gonna be a. I can try and hold off on some of the more big story stuff. So until that might be the session. So maybe that'd be the last thing that we do then. Maybe. Okay. Sure. Since so if you off. want to go to the cathedral and then the castle. Yeah, well, I mean, he needs to say a Stupid question. Is yeah. there a coliseum? Is there a coliseum in the city? Like where there would be fights held? No. Hmm. Lame. Sorry. That's all Fighting right. pits? Like illegal? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I can get behind that. <laughs> I'll flex. My money's on Mars. <laughs> Y'all don't want to go like to the cathedral sis. then? Yeah. Uh, maybe we maybe we should go to the cathedral to pray for all these all these people I'm about to punch. <laughs> the fight the, the, <laughs> the fighting ring is actually the school you just beat up on the all the students. No, oh, good. The fighting ring is in the basement of the cathedral. <laughs> and it's run by the priest. First first rule of fight club, you don't talk about fight club. Second rule of fight club, the priest runs fight club. Good. All right. Yeah, let's um <laughs> let's do whatever he wants to do in the cathedral. Okay. First of all, yeah, what go. what god is the cathedral to? This is a cathedral that is for multiple gods. So, if you uh, as you arrive there, it is it's just a community center. <laughs> they switch up the chairs. It's very large, like it's like a mega church almost, and um, god. just lined with statues. Uh, yeah, actually, of all the gods. Yes. So, I basically made a little like system here. So, um, as you guys go in, you know, it's set up kind of like a traditional church, but just wider with like more rows, almost dedicated to like different, uh, gods, like decorated slightly differently. Take a bunch of sanctuaries and remove the walls between them. Yeah. Well, um, have you ever played Oblivion? No. Okay. Well, in, in that game, they like have the nine divines, like just around the edge of the place of worship. And oh, got, okay. Like, um, pews to sit at. Did you say the nine divines? Yeah. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Talos! Okay. Um. <laughs> well, that was, you know, before they kicked Talos out, so... Nah. Okay, so, well, uh, I mean, we we'll could just set to. up just like that because there's actually nine here. So here's the little system we got going on here. Um, so I picked nine different deities from the Dawn War Pantheon. Uh, one of each alignment, and what you guys can do 
is I have a just a couple of very small buffs that you can get if you want to pray slash ask for help from one of these deities. Wow, it is like oblivion. But <laughs> if you choose to do that three times to the same one, your alignment is going to shift to be closer to theirs. Oh. Say you're chaotic evil and you pray to the lawful good one three times, you're going to be true neutral then. So what if you alternate between praying to the chaotic evil and the lawful good? Well, then you're just going to stay exactly true where you neutral. are. You're, that's, You'll you're just going to stay true neutral. No, you won't drift anywhere if you keep going one. If you keep going back and forth, you're just going to stay wherever Is you it already three are. In a, three in a row or three total? Three in a row. Okay. Well, no, three total. Okay. But like I said, it can be like balanced out. So. Can we get the list of gods like sent to us? Yes, because this is a long list, and I think instead of me reading all this shit off to you, I should probably just send this in the chat. So mm -hmm. give me just a second. Hi, but how does that? You, you can connect your tablet to the internet. Or do you I, not have Discord on? I don't have Discord on my tablet. Oh. Rip. Do that. It makes your life a lot easier as a DM. Hey Kyle, for what I asked you, is that a just a advantage disadvantage or is it just a plus modifier? Um, plus. Okay. We'll go with uh two plus two minus two. Does the system make sense to you guys? Yes. Yep. Which channel? There also may be... I haven't posted it yet. Oh. There also may be another little thing that happens if you choose to partake in this. Just saying. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if I like the sound of that. <laughs> Just smack me now. <laughs> oh, man. I'm ready. This is going to be a temporary boost until you long rest. Okay. So it's like oblivion. I like that. So remember that once you long rest, your buff goes away until you do it again. Like I said, it, depending on how you guys want to roleplay it, you can say like, you pray, you can say like you just ask for help, you can say that you just sit there and maybe a priest comes by and like blesses you and you're like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's kind of up to you how you want to roleplay that, however you guys feel comfortable. What? Okay. Never mind. Okay. So uh, there's the list. Um, so got lawful good, Bahama, neutral good, Pelor, Pelor, however that's pronounced. Pelor. Chaotic good, Avandra, lawful neutral, Raven Queen, true neutral, Ayun, Ayun. Chaotic neutral, Cord, lawful evil, Osmodius, neutral Osmodius. evil, Vecna, chaotic evil, Therizden. Just, if there happens to be anyone watching who's like a big D&D lorist, which I am not, ask... The only two of these I know about are Bahama and Osmodius, and even then I don't know that much about well, them. Well, Pelor is the sun god. Osmodius That's seems right. familiar. Didn't we fight with him against him? Osmodius? Yeah. Well, not a, you it guys. A, it was a joke. Was <laughs> so, and Ion is a god of knowledge. Okay. That's right. I remember that one now. Uh, the Raven Queen is essentially the one that toes the line between life and death. Um, so do you guys have any picked out immediately that you're kind of interested in? Yeah, I'd beeline for Bahamut. Okay. And I start a chant in Draconic. Okay. Besieging him for protection upon me and my friends. Oh, we're friends. <laughs> Already? That's, that's so nice, but the, too. that's very nice, but it the only blessing applies only applies to, to you. <laughs> are, yeah. are, are, so he's like, that's very sweet of you, but no, just you. Uh, <laughs> I understand that the blessing only applies to me, but still. He can still pray for me. Roll a d100. Uh -oh. I mean, he is. Ar Arden is just going to sit in one of the pews and just be look around and mimic what he sees, but he has no idea what he's doing. He's an atheist. <laughs> uh, he's going to pretend he knows what he's help? doing. It's a 10 and a 1. It's a 10 and a 1? Wait, it's a zero and a one? Wait. Wait, oh, ten and a one. So you got an eleven. Yeah, it would be yeah, a, an eleven. An eleven on the D100. What? You're fine. <sighs> okay. He was smited right there. No, you're fine. His character is dead. No, you're <laughs> genuinely fine. 
Well, Bahamut blesses pray. you with the oh with Bahamut's hey, blessing, which is gain advantage on persuasion rolls, gain plus one to AC. Go ahead, Abby. Uh, Azor is gonna play, pray to Osmodius. Okay, Osmodius. She's gonna what? Roll a D one hundred, Abby. Okay. Well, we have a my visitor. Goal is, is Kyle, since I use puppets, I can hide and use my puppets. Yes. What do you mean? I can hide. And use my puppets? Or do I have to, like, to do what? Be what are you trying to hide for right now? No, just like it says I get extra damage when I'm hidden. So sneak what attack? Are you oh, she's clarifying if she if I'm she's hidden, like... does her puppet do extra damage? Yes. No, I feel like your puppet would have to be hidden then, right? I don't know. That we can figure that out in combat. That wouldn't make sense to me if for your puppet to deal extra damage if they're not hidden. Well, we can. My... I mean, we can talk about that more when we get to like that, off okay. session. But I got a twenty. You got a twenty. Okay, you're fine. You gain the lawful evil Osmodius blessing, which is gain advantage on all deception rolls and deals an extra two d eight of damage when attacking from a hidden position, which is mm-hmm. which can stack with sneak attack. That's why you were asking about that. Okay. I forgot uh, to fucking yeah. read the thing. It wasn't like me just like, you know. That's why I'm asking. I thought you were bringing it up like totally randomly and I'm like, uh. No, 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 no. I, if I'm hidden and technically I'm Based on rules as written, I think that would require whatever's dealing the damage to be hidden. Yeah, we can talk about it more when later, though, off session. Okay. Um, Jordan and... Uh, Jenna, what do you guys do? I mean, I know you said you sat in a random... I'm sitting in a pew, looking around and just copying what everyone is doing, but he's not praying. He's just pretending to. He's an atheist. He's, he's just trying to do be Do you respect- still want the blessing? No. He's just being respectful. You don't. He's just being respectful and just... He doesn't know... He, he's never Oh, okay, before. so he's not... He's just pretending to So he to doesn't pray. want anything. Nope, he's just he, sitting there praying. Okay, a god is, like, about to bless you, and you're like, no thanks, and he's like, oh, Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna random God Jordan, just let him be roll a D10. Just remember, most <laughs> monastic. Actually, yes. Jordan, roll a D100 anyways. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's what you're rolling for. You're, you uh, are a monk, aren't you? I am. So there's a fairly high likelihood that you would have at least studied the gods. I did. But. I'm, I'm a not. cleric, but I'm an atheist. <laughs> I have no power. 82. 82. Right. You're fine. 82. Okay. His, his belief is what about you? Do you do right anything? Hand. Um, I look at all of them. And Evandra looks pretty good, so I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The chaotic good one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a d100 for me. Alright. Evandra's is gain advantage on intimidation rolls and gain two re-rolls of any check. What'd you roll? 69. <laughs> Are you I'm serious. Boy! You know what? Make that two re-rolls, make that three. <laughs> Just this once. Okay, Just this right. once. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, you well. You really good. <laughs> it's because she was Spencer, hot. Spencer, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to roll a D100 what? for you. Don't worry, nothing interesting happens to you, Spencer. You rolled an 87. So we'll talk about if you pick a blessing or whatever later. So yeah, that's about all there is to do here. I mean, probably. I don't, well, I don't we could problem. like... I don't, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Can we snoop around? I'm going to snoop around. No, we're not <laughs> snooping! Arden will, as he's pretending to pray, look at the kind of folks that are inside and see if anything catches his eye, though. <laughs> Just roll the 99. Roll perception. <laughs> Remind me that it's minus two. Mm-hmm. Is it minus two? No, uh, he doesn't see anything. Okay. <laughs> With a natural one. <laughs> Negative one? <laughs> Negative something one Something gets in your eye, oh. and as it finally gets out, something gets in your other eye. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to leave. Arden is kind of tearing up a little bit from the stuff in his eye. The priest comes by and is like, my child, let me bless you with permanently clear vision. No! Uh, okay. 
Okay. You got I guess I'll bless someone eye. else with that. You can bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Sorry, I already gave it to this one. <sighs> Unworthy. <laughs> You're already on my shit list. Yeah. So you, yeah, you got nothing. Okay. Just to make that clear, you got. I, I, I assume with a negative one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get anything. You want a handkerchief? Of his island. I have a sleeve, thank you. All right, well, nothing happened in there for you to cry over, Lordy. There was something in my eye. It was the fucking incense. Yeah, okay. Osmodius was just so beautiful. <laughs> The incense oh, just yes. made me tear up. Uh, the incense smells absolutely Sonic. awful. Okay, what do you guys do now? <laughs> we go to the castle. It's beautiful. Are you guys going to the castle now? Um, I, uh, what do you want to do? See what you did, Spencer. And now I'm needing to pad for time. Um, it's fine, Spencer. I love you. I mean, we only got. Like are we going till nine thirty? Are we going? We can time? go as in at latest nine thirty. I would say. Or maybe you just go to 9 tonight. I don't want to go to all the way to 9.30. Okay. okay. I mean, we can go a little past 9, but I don't want to go too we far do that, past. Um, I didn't realize what time it was. Um, so we got, yeah, okay, yeah, we, can yeah we, can go, to, we can go to the castle. Go to the, the castle. Okay. You guys make your way on over to the castle. All right. Very large, yeah. grand, fantasy-like castle. Quite beautiful. Oh, yeah, There's a... Sorry. There's a, you know, big stone bridge leading to it, and there are uh, several guards posted along, and you notice that there are also several other people also going in the same direction as you towards the castle. Um, there's a couple of guards, like, further up ahead, you see there's people, like, asking them questions and then walking past them and going in through the gates, which are open. I would like to walk up to the guards. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We have some information from the ruins outside Sulphias that may be of importance. Uh, okay, well, the king and queen are taking questions, requests, whatnot, right now. Uh, so, do you need directions on how to get in? I presume through the gate? <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> I meant after you got through the gate. <laughs> Dumbass. Have you ever been here before? We have not. Oh. You just visitors? Uh, we were directed to come here. I have been here, the... but it's been a while. Okay, that's fine. By the folks in Selphias. Okay, so you lit. Do you guys live in the kingdom? You live in Selphias? Well, we're just visiting. We're just. Can you tell yeah. us where the, the, the throne room or whatever is? I don't know why. Uh, well, the throne room, if you head through the gates, and then head, and then he gives you directions, whatever. Great, uh, thank you. Head in, take a left, uh, I mean, you'll see the people walking that way, but take a left, then, uh, yeah. go down a ways, take a right, and just keep going straight, and eventually you'll reach the throne there room. There are velvet ropes yeah. and signs everywhere, you can't miss it. There are a couple of signs, but, and for the most part, you'll see the people walking that way, so. All right, well. At least they shouldn't be walking anywhere, there should be guards posted, but yes. I see. All right. Well, I, I appreciate you. Of course. And I just walk on. Have a lovely time. Thank you. Have you a too, great day. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the help. Oh, you're welcome, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Cowboy honor. <laughs> um, as we walk or walking in and whatnot, I would like to keep an eye out for that symbol. Again. Okay, roll perception again, I guess. We all know how that's going. <laughs> nope. The dirt from earlier came back. Too. It's a total of a five. I mean, it's you bad. don't see it. Okay. I still sore. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little itchy. It's just something in a little the air. Itchy. It's something in the air. I can't. I don't know what. I thought it was the incense at the at the cathedral. You guys make your way into the castle. It is very grand on the inside. Very very castle like. Very pristine and clean. Uh, there's guards posted to like in case anyone somehow gets lost. Even though it's they're basically blocking off any paths that you could go that don't lead to where the king and queen are. So you take a left, go down passageway there. You take a right, there's a couple people like also walking in that direction. And as you keep going straight, you enter a very large throne room. At the very back, you see two thrones. 
with a line forming in front of them as one person is standing further ahead of the line, uh, seems to be talking to the king and queen you see up there, uh, two satyrs. Uh, their names, just, actually, I don't even know if you guys would know their names. You might. Their, their names are Trago and Rhea Durnaval, or Raya. I put R-I-A. You guys decide how that's pronounced. Um, Rhea and what? Trago Durnaval is the name of the other guy. T-R- like the pasta sauce? <laughs> Trey, like with a T. Uh, so Rago. Oh, no. Rago with a T. <laughs> no, not Trago. Trago. <laughs> Trago. T R A G O. T R A. Trago. And what was the other one? Raya. R I A. King and Queen. That's the and well, how, was the, how do you spell the last name? Durnaval is D U R. Look at Kyle's character sheet. V A A L. Don't spoil things, Jordan. <laughs> Sorry. And then you said that's the king and queen, correct? That is the king and queen. Yes. Yeah. So there is a line forming. Um, there's like maybe roughly twenty to thirty people ahead of you. Uh, you can, you know, you can hear like the echo of the person talking to the king and queen, especially the king, as his voice is pretty loud. Uh, and um, yeah, I. S- I assume you guys get into line? No, we butt the line. I do. Okay. Yep. I'm assuming there are people with like chickens or whatever being like, so my crops are dying and I... <laughs> it's that scene from Ember's New Groove. Yeah. Don't throw off the groove. <laughs> it's all like requests for aid and then we're coming up with a threat to the kingdom. Listen, I really think I have a good idea as to how to spend the taxpayer money. <laughs> Out! <laughs> Don't tell me what to do with my money. <laughs> anyway. Then, uh, slowly, I mean, do you guys want to do anything, or do you want me to just cut to you guys being at the front of the line? Let's hear a couple of these uh, requests. Yeah, I want to hear at least one. I want to hear a couple one, of these Kyle. requests. Okay. I do. <laughs> Who I mean, knows? Maybe we can secretly fulfill one. Actually, that'd be funny. Uh, let me think. Let me think. They want their neighbor t- to die. <laughs> <laughs> can the neighbor be Trey? The one that we kill? Can the neighbor be Trey? Listen, Lord and Lady, uh, th- you know, there's there's like this secret network working behind the scenes and like they're taking over our businesses and they're kidnapping our children. Aliens! They're aliens! <laughs> there you go. I got you one. Yeah, uh, so, yes, um, hello, uh, your majesties. Um, so, one thing I was thinking is that we start, is that, uh, you know, the schooling, of course, very important for, uh, the children. I'm, I'm thinking that we should start teaching the kids about the flat earth theory. Just, (laughs) just a thing, just, you know, tossing that out there. You know, I know we've been teaching them that the Earth is round for a long time. I'm just saying we can like present them the uh, the um, choice. It could be round or it could be flat. And then, like as they say that, they what? Close are we? How close are you? You can hear all this clearly. There's like at distance. I need to know. How close you are to the king and queen? Don't cast a spell. There's yeah. guards. There's that you're like. <laughs> What's your furthest I'm spell? I'm trying to visualize <laughs> this right now. Hey Nate, how close? How long is this table in feet? Uh, this is a four foot table. Four foot. Four foot. You're like probably between thirty and forty feet from them right, right now. F- this is four foot wide, eight foot, foot yeah. long. Oh. Never mind, you're further than that. So You're like 50 to 60 feet from them. We'll go with that. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm freaking worried about I'm, what I'm curious what you were going to do. You need to pray to Bahamut, ma'am. Okay, um... <laughs> that was really tough. So, uh... I'm gonna hold it until we're close. No! So the king is like... Bad. That's fucking that. stupid! The earth is not flat! And then the queen is like, uh, he said the earth is not flat. Um... 
you can leave now. He's like, <laughs> okay, so fine, fine, be that way. The, the, kid, the whole time that guy exits, Arden is looking at him as if he's the stupidest motherfucker on the planet. The <laughs> flat earth guy. The flat earth guy. The yeah, king is half drunk and the queen is Russian. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from. Now. I was trying to do Scottish. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> we'll say fast. that the she has that that this family is like Russian slash Scottish because I'm probably going to be funny. like shifting between the two as I talk. I love it. She hasn't um, had her morning vodka yet. Do you want to hear any more requests? Yes. yes. Um, okay, let funny. me think of another stupid thing. We that could probably would... do one more before yeah, it gets to us. What's another stupid thing that people would complain about? Can we be within 30 feet during this request? No! Let her be within 30 feet! Yeah, sure. I'm scared about the chaos that is about I'm to not. transpire. <laughs> oh. I'm excited about the chaos. I mean, I'm just a little scared, but like... I am, I'm a little I scared as well. I request that this is a very stupid reason to go visit the Queen King. Okay. Um, what'd you say, Abby? I request that this is a very stupid reason to visit the Queen King. What do you mean? She wants it to just be dumb. Like, it isn't a Oh, the movie. next one? Yeah. Oh, as dumb as, yeah, don't worry. As dumb as the Flat Earth Theory. Uh, Jordan, how uh, strict is Twitch and everything? It depends on what you're about to talk about. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, um, okay. Let me check a setting real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Are we okay? I'm so excited about this. God. Does this guy have his hand in his <laughs> Oh Don't. my god. Don't take it too yeah. far? Don't take it too far, okay. but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, your maj yeah, your majesties. Um, I was like arrested recently. I just got out of jail actually, and I want to be like compensated for my time. What are you in jail for? Uh, I was in jail for, you know, do it, doing it in public. Not with anyone, with myself. And, like, I think that was just, like, crashing on my vibe. I was, like, mid-jerk, and, like, the police came and got me. And, and like, the king and queen are just, like, making disgusted faces. And they are both, like, get the fuck out. And he's like, all right, fine. Wait, before they kick him out. Can Go. I misty step up to him? Up to who? Up to the dude. To, to the guy. Sure. Okay, let me dismiss him. And he's like, yo, I'm just waking up in public. And as we're <laughs> hearing this, uh, I was worried to be like, she's gonna, you know, uh, misty step up to him and be like, sir, sir, she can't tap on his shoulder. Right what? Here. Huh? Yeah, uh, do you see the faces that they're making? They're gonna... Read the room. <laughs> uh, uh you're yeah. Disgusted. disgusted by what you're doing? Uh huh. Can you just leave, please? But, like, it it's unfair. <laughs> you were waking out in public. How I was would you horny. If someone did that in front of you. How would I like it if you did it in front of me? No, another guy. Oh, God. He put out to his dick and was like. No. Arden is kind of shrinking well, that down. that would be disgusting. Arden is kind of shrinking yeah, down where he's standing and be making himself so But I should possible. be able to do it. How, how, is the, how are the faces of the king oh, I would be gross. reacting oh. to this? Exactly. So why don't you get out of here? But I want to be able to do it. Can I roll persuasion? <laughs> Kyle. What are the roll with advantage like? because this dude's Kyle. probably pretty stupid. What, what are the king and queen's faces look like at this interaction? They are just like... Ha faces in their palms, like, oh god. Like, relieved Natural someone 20. showed up. Natural 20. <laughs> that one was a five. He's like, you know what? You're right. In fact, I'm gonna quit porn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You can helped me see the light. Can that be how the episode ends? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna quit porn. <laughs> And, <laughs> and then he he shake he he offers to shake your hands. Uh, Don't do it. Like, 
have you touched yourself with, so I'm going to respectfully decline. I don't blame you. You know what? <laughs> Though, it was thank in the line you. five minutes ago. Thank you, your majesties, and they're both just like shaking their heads. The last time like, was five minutes ago. I'm going to go live a more productive life, and then he walks away. I was real close <laughs> to cutting his arm off. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I touched myself. Like, Let's see ya. Uh, Alzor does a very graceful bow. And says, I'm so sorry, your majesties. I just did not think that was something he should be discussing with y'all. I'll go back to my place of mind now. Uh, okay. Uh, he, he, uh, they stop you. They're like, wait, wait. And then the king's like, after doing that, you can go up next. And did, did you understand that? Yes. Oh, we could go next. Oh, I, I have a, a rest of my party with me. Is it okay if I go retrieve them, then, Yes. All right. She's going to go back to everybody. <laughs> Make sure you bow. Howdy, your majesty. <laughs> I bring out the most crisp, courteous bow I can pull off. Everyone roll performance to see how good your oh, bows god. are. <laughs> oh, God. Finally, something I, I'm good at. Do I need to? I am okay? not proficient in this. What though. did you say, Abby? Is mine okay? Do I still need a roll? Uh, no. You can be good, I guess. They're like already pleased with like how you handled that. That's so. a mod twenty without proficiency. <laughs> Same question. Hey guys, look at my cat. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Look at my cat right now. Aww. You are jungle gym. So cute. Natural 20. What'd you uh -oh. get? Not a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have a modifier, but... Spent, uh, score oh, bows yeah. very nicely. That cat just used you like What'd a you get? That would have been a total of a 15. That would have been a total of a 20. You all give very nice bows. That would have been a total of a 20. They're all... The, the king and queen are both impressed. But a nice bows. We're going off. Right, we're going off. We're good start so far. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sorry. Right, he didn't you say need? that. What I need... We've... Uh, who wants, uh, who wants to talk? I can, I can say it. I'm, I'm good with charisma. Okay. Actually, she does have good, but she's just ADHD. Charisma is my main thing. Sorcerer. I would hope so. Okay. We come bearing dire news. That'd be like playing a cleric and not having good wisdom. Of <laughs> outside of cell files. Cell files? All right. What's and going on there? I, I detail what we encountered. Go ahead. I detail it. I want you. I want to hear you detail it. it. <laughs> he doesn't you don't remember it. I remember most of it, but I, I don't remember a hundred percent. We don't. want to detail what happened. I don't. Uh, Arden want to detail what happened. I don't, I don't remember fully what we had to tell them about. It's been two weeks. It's only been twenty-four hours in game. The locusts. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's a strange sort of magic locust in the ruins outside Sophias. They. They just look at each other as soon as you say the word locust, and then they look back at you. Did you just say locust? Magic locust. They shake their heads, and the queen says, Let me guess. Black, red, uh, markings all over it? Gooey? Yes, your majesty. Yeah, they were real gooey when I smashed them in the They... Uh, they just, like, put their they faces in their palms. They appeared to mess with our minds as well. Hush, hush, shush! <laughs> One minute! What do I do with them? Uh, just... Oh, goodness, I'm so sick of hearing of this. Why don't we just tell him to go talk to Asmar? I think that's a good idea. All right. You can go see my son about this. He, okay, he is that way. Thank you, your majesties. You're welcome. Now get out. She, uh, Alzora very gracefully bows again. And then I, I do same the here. same. Chris, clean bow. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he seems more annoyed now. Oh, okay. So he points you down the hallway, uh, which is to the right now of the throne room. And as you head down there, um, you head straight for a while, and then you have to take a left because there's no other way to go. And then you see uh, another short hallway, and there's a room on the left and the room on the right. And there, the room on the right has a couple of people lined up outside of it, like three people outside of it. I'm gonna presume that lines us. What do you guys do? I uh, approach him. You approach the line. Sure, why? Okay, not? so you wait on the line. Yep. I'm gonna talk. This line is. To clarify. What? 
I'm going to ask the person in front of us to clarify that this is, in fact, the one. It's a line for the bathroom. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a line for the bathroom. You better be the last what, one. What, what, Excuse can me. you repeat one more time, Abby, what you say to the person? Um, I'm just going to tap on their shoulder and be like, oh, oh excuse yes? me. Yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, is this the line to see the prince? The, the line to see the prince? Yeah. No, this is the line to see Princess Estella. Oh. I think that's the prince's room. Well, what does oh. she look like? <laughs> what? <laughs> Good uh, like, as far as attractiveness? If you want to take it that way. I mean, she's pretty, I guess. All right. But I, what, I what go you... across the hall and I, to what I presume is the prince's door. Uh, is there yeah. a line? There's not a line. And I would wow. like to knock. The, the by the way, the person seemed very confused when you asked to see the prince. Um, oh. I knock on the door respectfully. Okay. You know, the like second and a half, two seconds between the knocks, moderate volume. So small. <laughs> you don't hear a response at first. Azor is going to be not as nice and she should go. <laughs> you hear, Estella's room is a, is the other one. No, we're here to see you. Asmor. Sir. What? Are your it, parents sent us to you about some wasps? Uh, locusts. Locusts. Locus. What? Locus. One minute. And <laughs> you, uh, you quickly hear uh, someone get up. You hear some... Uh, clomps across the floor and Kurt opens the door and in front of you you see a satyr you know your typical satyr with you know the goat legs the goat horns the goat face hold on this dude just looks like an anthropomorphic goat <laughs> <laughs> slacking on her drawing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he is the son of two satyrs and inherited the goat part of both <laughs> Oh, that sucks. And, okay, he's dressed up. Oh, goodness, I can't remember how I described it. It's fancy looking. I don't have any art, uh, so... We'll describe what he's wearing later. It's, it's... It that's a, that's really a cool. when, score, when Spencer is here as, explanation. As you guys uh, look at him, though, uh, he seems to have, like, a strange look on his face. And as you guys look at him, that same feeling you got when you looked at each other and could have sworn that you like recognized each other but couldn't place where, you get that exact same feeling when you look at him. Do I know you? I don't believe so. I feel like I should. Uh, I I'm getting the same feeling as well. Oh, wait. I mean, I don't recall Is knowing this... anybody okay, named go ahead. Asthma. <laughs> what? Princess <laughs> What did you Is say? This an inhaler for the character arts. <laughs> I said I don't. I don't recall knowing anyone named Prince Asthma. <laughs> <laughs> that character art is just an asthma inhaler. <laughs> All right, look, just go ahead. What? So I. Oh. He is motioning us to enter. No. He wants to know why we're here. We were He's going, go ahead, go ahead. I'm we gonna, sent I, to I can take to it. to consult about um, some odd magical locusts found outside Selphias. He's kind of like eyeing to the left and right. Goodness, I need to get like my Scottish accent going. Get out of my swamp! Like, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right! Okay. Wait, you're not here to... What? Magic locusts? Magic locusts. Describe them. How do they look? Small black markings on the bodies. Gooey. Red ones? Red ones. Red and black. Gooey when you crunched them. <laughs> Let's short about that part. Well, Come inside. They have Very sure about that part. Some degree of psychic capabilities or magical hey. capabilities. Is there. Messing with You're me. not fucking with me right now, are you? No. no, but they definitely fucked with my mind, so. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, come when, inside. Yeah. When we enter the room, is there anyone kind of watching us besides just normal curiosity of what the fuck? 
<laughs> the the people in line are kind of looking at you again with somewhat confused expressions on their faces. Okay. And no one seems it, like hyperly attentive, like what worried or I don't know. Worried? I don't. I, I mean, don't. You know. can roll inside on these people if you want. No, I, I don't mean, know if worried was the right word. Them. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess inside. Ah, I want to know what his room looks like. Okay, we will get to that then, afterwards. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Insight will be a total of Mod a six, 17. You rolled insight on the people that were staring at you. Yes. yes. They, wow. They're not lying to you. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously they weren't Kyle, lying to you. Well, this was the prince's room. were natural 19, natural 17, and natural 15. Yeah, you guys need to stop rolling so well in my <laughs> campaign. I'm So... It's this just, just means so I'm gonna. Bad. I can't. I'm not gonna take it easy on you when combat comes. I really don't worry. Just Someday we'll have get... a crit fail session. <laughs> yeah. Just wait till we get to persuasion. I only need a thirteen to get a mod twenty on that. I mean, you could tell that they were very confused as to why you would want to see the prince. Like they assumed that you were here to see the princess, and clearly he's the black you, goat of the family. When you, uh, <laughs> when you, Lucas. and they thought it was very, very odd that you would want to see him. Mm-hmm. Like. They didn't understand why. That's why I want to know what his room looks like. His room looks, uh, <laughs> and then the it's pretty, part. it's pretty messy. There's like tables set or a desk set up and he does have like some papers that could definitely be a bit more organized. He does have a couple of areas that have like some like gadgets in them. Like some of it looks like very clockwork like looking at Abby as I'm saying this and um, mm-hmm. lots of books as well. And there's, the floor isn't, like, that bad, but there's definitely a couple of, like, papers and, like, books along the floor as well. And then there's, like, connecting rooms that go to, like, the bedroom and stuff. But this seems to be, like, his workspace. Dude so has a workspace in his bedroom. I wish. Sorry. Go ahead, Abby. Say, do you like build stuff, too? Oh, I dabble a little. <laughs> I dabble. Uh... Anyways, um, <clears throat> uh, could you tell me a little more about the? Ah, goodness, I'm trying so that's hard okay. not to go into Russian. Just, it is just really keep hard. Rolling with it, you know, he can yeah. he can change. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he's just Russian. I mean, he hears. Could you both. tell me a little more about the locusts again? And like, as he's saying this, he's not even looking at you guys. He's actually just like rifling through papers and books. So you described uh, you you saw them too. You saw the black with the red markings on them. All of us did. I, I had them up. They were gooeys. All right? of us engaged them in combat. Uh, yeah, we, 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 combat. I, we engaged them in running away. I'm, well, most I'm of us were pretty sure away. I was the only one that got a little She's intimate with it. She's the one that was eating the shit. <laughs> and I'm the kind he, I want. Or like... Asmar no. steps up to you and he's like, what do you mean? I mean it like attached itself onto my arm and I had to beat it into submission. <laughs> May I... Look at your arm. Uh, oh. So he... <laughs> Take my hand in marriage. <laughs> so, so he, yeah, he grabs he, your he, arm and, like, yanks you just a little bit and, like, looks very closely. He's like, I can't tell... Where did they bite you? The bites disappeared as soon as they were all dead. Strange. Though expected. One moment. And then he, like, um, keeps looking through more we, papers. He saw some symbols in there and, like, a company name, right? Okay. I, I'm what was this company? I'm, I'm asking that. Yeah, he's asking like, you. Oh, you're remember. asking me what it was? Like, did we see it? A... I don't remember the name of it. Um, um, it was Oiv- Oivaya. Ovaya was the Ovaya. name of the company that Trey told you about. Those were the guys that carried you guys into the bar. They had the Ovaya logo on them. Yeah, no, but we, we found something in the ruins that had a company name on it, didn't we? It's, there was a letter that said something about Pantro. Do we know what Pantro was? Do we know what Pantro was? No. I don't recall. Okay. No. There was... So, what, what, do, you, what do you say to him? Written, he is looking through books and papers once again. There was a log in the systems in the facility that referenced Pantro. Would Asmar know about Pantro? I don't know, roll. It's a piece of data. <laughs> he's almost certainly going to take a note if he's this... Invested. Yeah. 
But, yeah, um, he, he actually does like take out a, a pencil and he's like, Pen oh, the, Pantro. The, um, the message. P A N T R O. If I recall, the message said something about the psychoactive properties of the experiment, right? <laughs> it said that, uh, it basically said there was something fucked up going on, asking, why are we doing this? This needs to stop. The, the letter is posted in the Discord, actually. Okay, then, is it? Then I like. Do we have a copy of it? No, because it was on a screen. And then Alzora hit open, and then the locusts came out after you guys. I'm going to so, bet that one of us probably wrote it down, though, right? Isn't it? No anyone? one said they wrote it down. I can... Uh, I mean, it happened yesterday to them, so like... I read it aloud. I mean, you guys remember, like, vaguely what it says. You can't yeah. read it word for word, but you remember, like, the gist of it. A research facility. Um... The people there thought what they were doing was fucked up. What was this? Uh, there's a group of ruins outside of the town of Salafias. Salafias. Is where where you encountered the locusts? Yes. Yeah. Just outside town. Yes. Yes. In, in the ruins. <sighs> um. Told you that wasn't crazy. <laughs> crazy. Man named I was crazy. Trey once. was trying to get a necklace ruins. out of them. Well, that name means nothing to me, but good to know. A necklace. He has it. And he refreshed it as a key. A key? Don't know anything about that, but... It may not be a bad idea to keep it in, a, in the notes. It could mean something later. He's just scribbling away this entire time you're saying this. Not even really, like, looking at you guys. Then he puts his pencil down It's like, Okay. Does the name of Aya mean anything to you? Yeah. Um, yes. What? <laughs> Wonderful. We were told that... So, we need to set something up here. We met each other yesterday, waking up in a tavern that none of us had previously been to. Asking around, we found out that people from Ovaya had dragged us in there. What? I think... We only like two of you guys knew about Lavaya, I guess. Yeah. No, Trey, Trey told all of you guys yeah, Trey about told it. All of us. Oh, as far as like knowing what they did, yeah, I think oh, yeah. only like certain people did. I, I'm pretty so, sure uh, I was there. I forget who well, was there. I'm saying like our characters would they know the name? Like the people who didn't know that information. I don't know. We would have shared it around. Oh yeah, I'm sure. You I guys mean, I'm sure we probably would have talked. Lavaya yeah. does. Which was a uh, weapon development. Yeah, they're a weapons development company, right? That is part of the truth. I'm gonna guess. I've that's been in the contact. Truth. I've been in contact with them recently, and I think maybe you guys can help out with. Oh goodness. No. Please. Part of my manners. My name is uh, Prince Durnaval, uh, Asmar Durnaval. Sorry. Oh. And uh, he extends his hand to uh, shake your guys' hands. I Shake his hand. I, I'm score. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How hard is it's my very nice to meet you, sir. Yours is yours is hard. Oh, his oh. is okay. <laughs> Arden shakes his hand. Okay, everyone shakes hands. Yeah. Yes. And I'm still I go, laughing at being the beefed, beefed out sorcerer. No, sorry about getting your name wrong. I'm Mars. No worries. Perfectly fine. Uh, so now, so with that out of the way, uh, I must admit. You all look a little familiar. You were talk you were saying something that you thought I looked familiar. Yeah, I have this feeling like we've met before, but I can't place why. I am getting the same feeling looking at all of you. Hey Kyle, it's nine fifteen, by the way. You're right. Yeah. Should probably wrap this up. Okay. Um I have a I have a little okay. ending point here. Learn. So because of this, perhaps we can work on what this is and why we recognize each other. I have an idea. There's... <laughs> Shut up, Siri! <laughs> God damn it, Siri. So, in regards to those locusts, I have a little uh, location we can go to in order to hopefully learn a little more about them. It's uh, located here in the city, I've been putting it off, but with you all here, 
I can't help but get the feeling that now's the time to go. Would you all be willing to come along? Learn That's a little more like about this? Absolutely really not. Bye. Idea. You're on your own. <laughs> I'll do an insight check on him. Go ahead. I'm going to yeah, join in that. Well. You can all do insight <laughs> checks, of course. So that was only a 14. Okay. Only 16. Okay. 17. Okay. 15. Oh wow! God. Score. Fourteen Dang. was the lowest. Do we get a? Do we get score? Oh shit! Sorry, yeah. s- sorry, Spencer. Um, Nineteen on the die for wow. score. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Score knows exactly what's down. You guys can all tell he's being pretty legit right now. He's it's not high. That's he's what not. I wanted to know. Does he seem trustworthy? Yes, seems he, like okay. a good. He does player. seem. Going to turn to the others and say. He does seem trustworthy. And score rolled the highest. Score can tell like this guy has absolutely no ill will towards you guys. I'm going to turn is, to the other folks in the group. And he's not say, lying about anything you either. I don't suppose this is what that key Trey was talking about goes to. I don't know. It's possible. I, I guess we'll learn. Just uh, follow him and uh, find out. Very well. He certainly seemed shady. Yeah. I'm real keen on finding out about the hallucinogenic stuff. But did I say that right? Hallucinogenics? Yeah. Hallucinogenics. Yes. <laughs> Double jinx. Yo, I'm a Dr. Pepper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Oh, that I love is. Dr. Pepper. Oh, same <laughs> kids cannon! Same, <laughs> same here, actually. It's a pretty good drink. Oh, it's it delicious. Oh, it is. It is uh, delicious. Anyways, <laughs> we should probably get <laughs> going now. Have you ever tried the Dr. Pepper float? Oh. We can talk about this on the way, yeah. but like, all right, okay. yeah, let's let's get on it. So you guys leave Asmar's room, and um, well, we'll end the session there. Cool. Good session. Goodness, that I was not getting the voice I wanted to get for him <laughs> right at all. I still loved him. On the oh, way my... home, Kyle's gonna be in his car practicing. <laughs> Get out of my swamp! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Get out of my swamp! Okay, I got it now. <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Maybe he's just Russian now. Fuck oh it. Oh my god. Uh, thank you, you know, for. Not all Scotsmen sound that strong. Okay. Exactly. I was trying to do a not strong one, and that's thank, hard. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Tavern Heroes. We will be back uh, eventually. I'm not sure when. Um, next week. Next week. Uh, hopefully. What's with the? Is there any reason? I'm not. Work? I'm not sure. Anyway, yes, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. No. Yeah. Hopefully next week. Yep. Good talk. Good talk. Look at my. Look at my.